This might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! No, not at all. As I recall, you got what I danced. That's a good movie. Clucking the childs. <laughs> I, I hope I'm ready to go. I think I'm all ready to go. Let's see. Mm -hmm, all right. Hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. Yeah, I got a full on action packed vlog for you guys planned out tonight. There's no timestamps on the screen. That hasn't happened in a really long time, but there are going to be timestamps. The first pinned comment right underneath this video, I believe. It is the Australian Breeze Tones who is doing the timestamps this week. Last week, it was the one and only Poon Sauce McNasty. This week, I believe it's Breeze Tones. I want to shout out both of those two just fine gentlemen right now for just being all around solid, super solid dudes. Thank you. Thank you, Poon Sauce. Thank you, Breeze Tones, for those timestamps. The timestamps also get turned into chapters. You know, we use it on this video, but... Uh, here we go, you guys. Dude, thank you so much for being here tonight. I see you there in the chat. Jangles is here. Uh, Georgia Boy enjoying his new moderator powers. Slater, Addy, Tooney, Sally S. Megs! Megs, you're not intended to be a soundbite. That was accidentally left in, but I might leave it in permanently just because it's... Well, it's just kind of funny singing MXPX. Vicky, I see you there. Steve-O, Metal Steve, there it is. It is Breeze Tones, it's Rocco, it's David, it's Michael Redfern, it's Lo-Fi for Llamas, it's Michelle Elliott. I haven't seen the microwave here yet, but damn it, hopefully the microwave shows up tonight. But uh, yeah, hell yeah, welcome you guys. Patrick Conquest is going to be here tonight as well. He's here right now, it's his birthday. We're going to be singing happy birthday for Patrick Conquest, keeping it real on Twitch. <laughs> keeping it real on Twitch. Uh, I really very appreciate you guys being here. This, you know, I always say this every week, it's my favorite night of the week, you know, it's my favorite night of the week, it's the vlog. We get to hang out. We get to goof off. We get to drink stuff. We get to vape stuff. We get to get we get to get rage sweaty together. We build stuff and we mix liquids and it's just good. It's just good times and I really look forward to this. We might even, ha, huh, might even talk about some music tonight if we have enough time. I'm not looking to go for three and a half hours again. But sometimes that's just that's just what happens with the vlog. Sometimes it does go three and a half hours. Let me give you guys a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up tonight. Hello, that's the first thing it says. Hello, uh, of course we're gonna have beer, dude. I got a I got a fire beer sitting right in front of me, talking about what I've been vaping, talking about what you've been vaping in the form of Assignment Planet Globe. We're gonna sing happy birthday. We're gonna do some news. We're gonna do some retro vaping. We're gonna open some freaking mail. I think there might be an x-ray stubby in the mail. Hey Lee, I see you there. Lee, not the real Gerard Butler. I see your face. I'm happy to see your face. We might, we might have an x-ray stubby in this mail today. I can't make any promises. Something arrived from the UK. I believe it's from Vapors Cloud. It could be their new RTA. It could be that new X-ray stubby that I'm just dying to get my hands on. So we might have that. We're going to do mail. We're going to do a very random liquid tasting. And maybe at the end, we might get to know Grim Green and talk about some, some musical accompaniments that I... I don't even know. I don't know why I said accompaniments. Musical artists and the such as that I, that I really, really like. You know, I have a whole meager collection of records, a meager collection of CDs, but every record and every CD is like is an important record and an important CD to me. And chances are every record and CD that I have has some sort of story behind it. Uh, you know, like when I first got it, when I re got it, you know, when we were playing car tag, listening to MXPX really loud. loud. Yeah. That, all sorts of stories like that. Cody, I appreciate you. Kevin, I see you there. Mark lost world of JJ is here. I see you all over Twitter, my lost world of JJ. Appreciate you guys. Uh, this and shit, I just, I guess we're just going to get into this. There were, to be fair, there, I saw two, two super chats come in and we'll get to all of the super chats in just a moment, but it's just sitting here in front of me, taunting me, 
It's time to drink a beer. I hope everybody has a beer. I hope everybody that drinks beer has a beer. Let's go. Yeah, there it is right there. You see that edgy skull right there? Here's what we're drinking tonight. Three Floyds. Can I even, will YouTube let me show th this website? Even though it goes to a beer website, I guarantee you I won't get a strike for showing a beer website. But we got Three Floyds. We got zombie ice here. This is the zombie dust ice. It's not normal. It says crafted with an unholy amount of citra hops uh i can't read the font on the back this double undead pale ale heralds the zombie evolution after the dust has settled from the apocalypse hence the name zombie dust aka three floyd's zombie ice this is another beer uh, again on loan from the tribal buddha collection i'm going to be returning this to him but we're going to be pouring it and drinking it. And I know nothing about this. You got a Coca-Cola? Hey, that's okay. You got a good Coca-Cola? a good, good, like, cane sugar Coca-Cola, not high fructose corn syrup Coca-Cola. We're going to be pouring this into my uh, green, green, I don't know, maybe I was in a green mood today. My favorite fuck yeah pint glass. This was, this pint glass was one of, if not the very, very, very first, like, gift that I was gifted from a subscriber way back in 2011. Uh, shout out to VFan. I don't know if you're still around. I don't know if you've ever wa if you've watched my videos since VFan, but shout out to VFan, black pink in your area. She sent me this uh, fuck yeah pint glass and I just loved it. It was like the first gift I ever received from a subscriber. I kept it just because it, you know, it still blows me away that someone sent me anything. But first of all, would you look at this delicious beer? Just holding it with three fingers. How nervous does that make you? <laughs> whoa, whoa, Maybe I'll pour it on my Mac Studio by accident. Whoa. I'm just kidding. Why would I do that? Three Floyds. Zombie ice. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That's effing delicious up the A. That's hella good. Uh, when they say unholy amount of citra hops, yeah, I believe that. This isn't, it's pepper time there, Steve-O. It's Dr. Pepper time. You know, I'm sorry to go on such a tangent right now, but there was that woman, did you see that woman who was on the BBC? And she was like 97 years old. And she said that the, the way that she got to be 97 years old was drinking a Dr. Pepper every single day. Just drank one Dr. Pepper every single day. That's what she credited with living into her 90s. So, Steve, shit, you're going to outlive us all drinking all that Dr. Pepper right now. Yeah, this is delicious. Up front, super like pineapple sweetness, citrus sweetness. It's super malty. It's super hoppy. It's like a very classic IPA. Super clean, not lingery, even though it's like I mean, I wouldn't call that like a hazy IPA, but that's slightly on the hazy side. That is freaking delicious. I know nothing about this beer. Let's look real quick. Uh, I think I had it. Yeah, where did it go? I want to read what a, what, a, what a normal beer drinker had to say about it. This person did not like it. 2.2 out of 5. Tastes and smells like very sour lemonade. Some might be able to justify it with the 8.5% ABV. Oh, by the way, this is a 8.5% ABV. But I've had beers much higher in the ABV that still tasted like good beer. This isn't, so <laughs> this isn't something I'll be buying again. Bummer. Bummer. I mean, this is one of the best beers like on earth. Zombie Dust Ice is uh, pretty stellar. Let's see what this person had to say. Poured from a can into a pint glass. Hey, just like me. Pours orange red with a fluffy white head. So far, they're correct. Smells of citrus and floral hops. Very bright and fresh. Tastes of citrus and grassy hop with slightly floral hops. Beer is light-bodied, easy drinking, good carbonation, or effervescence. 
Overall, a very good beer. Yeah, I'd say something similar like that. Uh, it's sweet, hoppy, floral, very clean, very... I know it's going to sound like the opposite of clean, but it's very pungent. The flavor on it is, is very, very strong. I wish I had some Dr. Pepper in the fridge. Let me tell you. Shout out to my friend Josh, who uh, all through high school drank nothing but Dr. Pepper. He's going to outlive us all. Drink nothing but Dr. Pepper. Now, I maybe have nothing to pair this with. I definitely don't have a tobacco set up. I got poor kids of Discord. I got guava. None of that's going to go. Maybe this. Maybe this. Maybe oat drips with mung bean is really going to set this beer off. What do you, <laughs> you think so? We'll see. Oh, I did it backwards. I've been doing this too long. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Whoa. Smash the like button or every sneeze you have will be interrupted. That sounds terrible. That sounds, you better listen to Rhett. You better smash that like button. Um, it's a good little pairing. I, you know, a tobacco would be like the supreme ideal vape to pair with this. But I got no tobacco set up. I got nothing even like in the bakery family in here. The mung bean, I think, is going to be the best we get right now. And that's okay. Sometimes you settle for a slightly cruddy beer pairing. That's actually a pretty good little beer pairing. It's not a slightly cruddy beer pairing. It's a pretty good beer pairing. Hey, uh, thanks, Rhett. Appreciate that. Yeah, everybody smash that like button in case you're not sure what you're watching. It's the vlog. That's what we're here to do tonight is the vlog. Mango. Mango could pair well. Mango could pair well. I'm just going to try poor kids of Discord just for fun. That is actually way better than the oat drips with mung bean. Times, times a thousand. That's better than the oat drips with mung bean. Damn, why didn't I go for that first? Why didn't I, why didn't I go for that first? What are you going to do? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do literally right now is uh, check out all the Super Chats. Check out all the Super Chats. Let's see what's going on over here, gents. Uh, that's right. I saw one from Slater. My dog strutted in wearing a grim green leotard, <clears throat> flexing and screaming. I try to keep an eye open and I realize I haven't closed my eyes in a long time. Then threatened to DDT me unless I gave you money. You don't want no dog DDT. You do not want that. That is a rough life to live, Slater. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, fella. Appreciate you. And your dog. And your freaking grim green leotard wearing dog. Tribal Buddha. Yes. Let's start this off right. Hey, Nick. Love you. Hey, Tribal Buddha. Love you, bro. Get in with the super chat of the beast. Appreciate you. And thanks for the beer. Veggie. Uh, Veggie says, thank you for the knowledge you've shared with all vapors and incredible content. Cheers. Oh, Veggie. Look, thank you. I'm just trying to do my best, you know. I think vaping is going to change the world. I think it's going to eliminate combustion. But, man, we're having a hell of an uphill battle with it, aren't we? Cheers to you, Veggie. Appreciate you. Oh, Frank Neal. By the way, Frank, uh, I sent you out a package today just so you know. Keep an eye out, Frank. Uh, yo, yo to Nick, the cool kids, and everyone in the chat. I'm drinking on redneck tea. That's bourbon and iced tea. Great drinks and a great Thursday. Frank, I have never had bourbon and iced tea. And why? Why, Frank, why have I never had bourbon and iced tea? That sounds delicious, completely delightful as a bourbon fan, as a bourbon person. I would love to have some bourbon and iced tea. I guess the real reason why I wouldn't have bourbon and iced tea would be the too much caffeine. <laughs> too much caffeine from the from the iced tea. The bourbon I can handle. The caffeine, ooh, ho, oh, it's not for me. Too much caffeine, not certainly not for me. <laughs> too much caffeine. Good lord. Enjoy it, Frank. Enjoy that. Uh, enjoy that. Wait, what did you call it? Redneck tea, bourbon and iced tea. 
What kind of bourbon you got? What kind of bourbon you got rocking tonight? That's really what. That's really the question. That's really the question. Well, I agree with you, Rifle Man. Vaping has already changed our world. Vaping has up, up, upheaved and completely changed my life. Like in the most severe way possible. In the most severe way possible, it has changed my life for the best. You know, it it, it changes people's lives. It's crazy. It's crazy what vaping is going to do. What's up, Bry Guy? Hey, Bry Guy, speaking of Bry Guy, let's talk real quick about uh, just a few things I've been vaping. You know, uh, we had a, a bit of a crazy week this week. Uh, we had some guests, some house guests over starting last weekend. They literally just yet left yesterday. So I am personally way behind the eight ball. And that affects the what I've been vaping. But let's just get into it. Vaping. You can just hear the birds singing outside. Here we are. We're back in the kitchen to talk about what I've been vaping this last week. So this last week, we had a bunch of company over for the 4th of July. There were just a mess of people in this house. So mostly what I was vaping, pods, you know. Pods. Caliburn, yes. Vapresso Vico Go, also yes. Inakin Goes, also yes. I've been vaping as much as I possibly can with this setup, but if you look in the tank right here, this is the most depressing part. This represents the very, very last of my uncommon. So I've been trying to like ration this. I grab it, I take one or two toots, I look, I'm like, nope. The liquid, liquid's too low. Still amazing. Amazing flavor, amazing RTA, amazing device. I love the shit out of that. Mouth to lung with the steam shell here from At Mizzou sitting inside the Cubic 60 with that red freaking crypt tank on there. It looks so super dope. Yeah, that fell completely on the ground. In fact, this was just my commute device and I, I completely killed the battery. I took down the Arbiter because I kind of want to, or sorry, Abita, the Oxva Abita. I took down the Abita because I think I'm going to use the Abita for the very random liquid tasting tonight. But this, the Odin 2 with the legal RDA and the Amatorium Glamour Raspberry Ripple, this is like a, this is like a forever setup. Airflow on this RDA, so good. Flavor on this RDA slaps this flavor in particular, this Amatorium. You know, I talk about it a lot. I love the hell out of it. Oh, there's been another pod sort of hanging around in my pocket, hanging out out here, and that's the uh, the Geek Vape Sonder U. It's, uh, it's shit or get off the pot time for the Sonder U. It's either going to go off of my desk or it's going to eventually make it to the Hall of Fame. This is like the Sonder U's last stand. And even with a really old coil head, still damn good. Lastly, I set this up, I believe, two weeks ago on the Tuesday Vape Fiddle. It's that Skeleton Grim Army Special Edition Empire with the Karma RDA on top. And I have a, you know, I have a napkin right here because I've noticed the Karma, it, maybe it's not the Karma, maybe it's something else, but there is a ring of e-liquid around the bottom of my RDA. Squonking and vaping and squonking and vaping and squonking and vaping. I look down and yep, yeah, sure enough, there's just a little ring of moisture around the bottom of this Karma RDA. I don't know if that's coming from, you know, that this is a, a an Ultem, not Ultem, this is a Delrin top cap. Maybe it's not getting a good enough seal on there. I posted this question on my Instagram and I'll pass the question off to you. This is a Tugboat V1 drip tip in the Karma. I like it, but I wanna know if, I, if it's too dorky or not. Just give me a show of hands in the chat. Too dorky? The Karma RDA on this has been really nice. Super, super flavorful. I just don't get any crackle from it, you know? And I know crackle isn't like a requirement of vaping, but my vaping experience is so greatly enhanced by crackle that when I get an RDA or RTA or something like that that I've built myself and there's no crackle, 
It's a little bit, meh, it's a little bit defeating. I like this setup. I like this RDA. I like the liquid on the inside. Uh, and all of that would be taken to like the next level if I could just get some crackle from this. And apart from the leaking, the Karma is a really nice little squonk RDA. Anyway, that's all for kitchen vapes. Next week we'll probably be back on the couch because my wife will be home and I'll have reason to, you know, spend in the living room. I know for sure I have some desk warriors, but, you know, I'm going to let desk guy tell you about them. Hey, check those wings. Check those wings, kitchen guy. Uh, I, two pods have been coming across my desk. It's that Caliburn. This is just the Caliburn A3S and a, a slightly different little battery. I'm going to have a review for these guys really soon. Really, really soon. UL doesn't want anybody jumping the gun. Uh, Nevox Feelin' A1. Damn it. Nevox Feelin' A1. It's just, I mean, it's almost everything. It's almost everything. It's almost the perfect pod. Ethos. You already saw this. It's an Ethos with a PNP coil on the inside. Poor Kids of Discord is on the inside of that. Uh, I just like PNP coil heads. I don't know what it is about them. They just vape really well, and I really, really like them. The Stubby. The Stubby is one of those few devices, I think, since I got it. Wait, is this the Stubby 21? Okay, yeah, this is the Stubby 21. Since I got it that I haven't really, like, set it down. I was using my Stubby, Stubby, Stubby until I got the Stubby 21, and then it's just been Stubby 21 this whole time. Hopefully there's a Stubby X-ray in there. Pont. Pont, mesh, still on the inside, still good somehow. Did you hear, did you hear the slight tiny little bit of crackle in there? That juice is really good. I don't get it. I don't get it. It just keeps working. Uh, this is the Skunk Works. Uh, dot AIO. More importantly than that, it's this on the inside. I believe it's pronounced the Yozu. It's a little uh, restricted lung banger that I got from Indonesia. We did it on a vape fiddle on Twitch two weeks, two-ish weeks ago. Mung bean. Oat drips mung beans on the inside. Six milligram. Loads of crackle. That's just so good. The crackle, the liquid, the I mean, everything came together in that one. Uh, and lastly, but not leastly, it's uh, just a matte black empire with a squirida on top. This is just like my banger setup. It's got Lunar Sweet Mango on the inside. Most often, you know, more often than not, I'm grabbing for this on my desk. Now, this is a 0.15, and I've heard a lot of complaints uh, about the chip inside of the empire. Obviously, yeah, this, we don't want a crappy chip inside the Empire. We'd like to rectify any, any problems that anybody's having. I can't replicate the problems that people are having. This is a 0 0.15. I'm running it at 76 watts. When I press the button, it gives me 3.6 volts, 76 watts. Can I do 80 watts? It'll still give me 80 watts if... If your batteries have a lot of sag and they're not good 21700s, the chip is going to reflect that sag the way that the old Asmodis chips also used to reflect sag. And that's how I knew that my 18650s needed to be replaced when they would sag too much inside of Asmodis mods. So I'm not, you know, shirking off all responsibility, but I think there's a... a, a a number of factors that are going into people and old batteries trying to put out like 80 plus watts. It's just not going to do it. It's just not going to do it. It's going to keep you safe first and then give you the wattage you need second. Crackle's not overrated. Crackle is life, Breeze Tones. Come on. I feel like I, that's like a bannable offense here, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Of course, I'm just kidding. Kidding all day long. And that's the thing with this, with this squai, with the squai and with another, the karma, no crackle, squai, no crackle, karma, no crackle, still banging flavor, you know, clouds for days, just <laughs> clucking chowds all over the place.
freaking delicious. There's just uh, there's no crackle. There's no crackle in these chowds. But there is mountains of lunar sweet mango in there, and it's just freaking delicious. In fact, let's let's hit up some lunar sweet mango with the beer. Why not? Right? We're here. We're already done with an eight percent beer. I'm already hammered. Boss, boss, that's real good. Real good pairing right there. This is all I have left for the whole rest of the vlog. It's a little bit unacceptable uh, in my opinion. Um, so now that's all, that's what I've been vaping. That's the few things on my desk. I'm in the middle of a big clean out day. There's loads of stuff uh, getting dried off by the sink right now. There's loads of stuff that got put away today. There's loads of pods that got completely dismantled and taken apart today. And, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. You're, you're correct, Pickle. My wife just texted me. My wife just texted me. Big announcement right now. Big announcement right after this, what I'm about to say. Then we'll have a big announcement. Where's the link? I need the link, lady. Pow. Okay, here's the link. Here's the link. So that's what I've been vaping. Sorry, you know, I get when your wife texts you, it's it's where a hundred percent of my attention goes, literally every single time. Like, whoop, Casey, all attention, all eyes on pickle. <clears throat> so she reminded me of something. She reminded me of something, and I'm and I'm glad Kent is here because this is Kent's favorite time of year. You know what time of year it is, Kent? Kent, Kent Hill, Twisted Messes. Do you know what time of year it is? Popcorn time, popcorn time, popcorn time, popcorn time. We buy popcorn every year from my nieces and every year they they just destroy it. They just kill it. Look at, Addy here is almost in first place. This is the goal. We're trying to get my niece up to first place. And the way that we do that is we follow this link. I'm going to put it in the chat. I'm going to put it in the description. And we just buy a bunch of popcorn from some high schoolers. And it's the greatest popcorn that I may have ever eaten in my life. My wife and I go way overboard every single year. And uh, we just plow through loads of popcorn. It's delicious popcorn. The caramel cheese combo, shut up. Get out of here. It's so good. It's so good. Tonight's your night. I think today, I think tonight, uh, 13 hours left. Yeah, there's 13 hours left on this. So if you're going to go uh, help help my family out, help my niece out, buy some popcorn, get them in first place. The first year that we did the popcorn sales and I like promoted it out on the vlog, Addy just killed it just destroyed everybody else in her school by like a mile. I, I like to do that. I like to do that. I'd like to get her in, in, as, in as high of a first place as she can, just dust in the competition, you know, just dust in them. So grab some popcorn, you know, grab some popcorn if you're feeling it. I sure would appreciate it. Chances are my wife has already ordered us a, a catastrophic amount of popcorn. And so... Uh, <laughs> It's going to be good times. I'll remind you again before the stream is over that there's uh, that it's popcorn season because I can't stress to you guys enough how truly delicious this popcorn is. It's popcorn season, Kent. Everybody stay hydrated. Okay. It's popcorn season, Kent. Now that we're done with popcorn season, Kent, which just, you know, Quick reminder, I'm just gonna, there's a link in the chat. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Hit up Addy's pop-up store for some popcorn. Define catastrophic. Uh, we kept eating it even when we didn't want to anymore. That was catastrophic amounts of popcorn. It was like, we can't let the popcorn go to waste. <laughs> we gotta eat all this caramel corn. We gotta eat all this cheese popcorn. I like the spicy popcorns. I like the salt and pepper popcorns. I like the kettle corn. They do like a thousand different varieties. And anyway, I'll shut up. We'll shut up about the popcorn. One last thing, popcorn. Okay, that's it. 
That's the last time I'm gonna mention the popcorn until the very next time that I mention the popcorn. Easy peasy caramel cheesy is delicious. Kent, easy peasy caramel cheesy, 100%, I agree with you. What a delicious flavor. I'm just gonna shrink your chat down here and move it into a more reasonable position. Caramel cheesy, I think that's my favorite one. If I had to pick a favorite, it's caramel cheesy. It's caramel cheesy. I don't see why they wouldn't ship caramel corn popcorn to the Netherlands. I think it's worldwide shipping. Maybe it's not. I don't know. What? Give it a spin, Bic. Give it a spin and see what happens. Give it a spin. Give it a spin. See what happens. Five twenty. She's one dollar away from first place. We can definitely get her to the top of the leaderboard. No questions asked. Microwave popcorn. Microwave oven popcorn. <laughs> okay. Um, let, let's let's talk about a few things that you've been vaping. You know what that means? It's time for. America, this is you. That's right. It's assignment America time. Although for the purposes of this stream, we're calling it assignment planet globe. And this is where I, I want to see your bangers. I just want to see them. You've seen what I've been vaping. You've seen the clearly sick bangers that I have. Uh, uh. What about you? You. Send them in. Send me your bangers. Nick at groomgreen.com. Just mark your subject. Assignment Planet Globe. Let's see. I got a few of them here. <laughs> Ashes. They see ashes in the chat. Ashes with 17 Z's. That's right. Ashes with 17 Z's. Uh, ashes says, I just want to send uh, what I've been vaping your way. Thanks for being you. Thanks for being true. Thanks for all you do. And I hope you had a blast uh, at the vape con over the seas. And last but not last, last but not least, thank you for being a friend. I had to sing it. There were musical notes involved. That's the rule of the emoji. Hope you and Casey and the pups are well. Take care. Hell yeah, Ashes. Ashes rocking that Valerian 3, which is sick. The Valerian rules and those coil heads rule. Geek Vape T200 or the Geek Vape Zeus Max tank on top. That's the Zeus Max, not the Zeus X. That's the Zeus Max. High Drip Marketplace. I've never had that marketplace, but Ashes Marketplace liquids are straight up fire amazingness. Straight up fire amazingness delicious. The Fuji Mango Apple Pear, what was it called? Lee. Lee. Fuji Pear Mango, Fuji Apple Mango Pear, something like that. Delicious. Delicious beyond words. Uh, Brian, is there a Brian Goodyear in the house? Yeah, there, there better be a Brian Goodyear in the house because this is him. Uh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Whoa, that was... Uh... All right, I don't have Brian's email for some reason. Okay, I don't have Brian's email, but this is this is Brian's setups here. Steam Crave something, Geek Vape thingy, Lost Vape thingy, a stubby, uh, a dot AIO. At least I think that's a dot AIO next to the Fruit Monster. Fruit Monster, Pop Clouds, Johnny's Juice, The Grape A. I'm just happy to see another person who digs grape flavored, grape flavored things. Grape e-liquid, it's just one of my favorite things. I like grape flavored things and I like grape e-liquid. And so it's just nice, you know, it's just nice to see. That's quite a setup you got there. I like that blue shiny stubby. Was that a custom jobber? I didn't know they made blue shiny stubbies. I kind of want a blue shiny stubby. Matthew, look at this spread from Matthew. Unbelievable. Hey, Nick, Matthew writes in. Matt here, part of the hashtag replay crew from San Diego. Here's my daily bangers. The Sackers tank lives on the Odin 100 and goes wherever I go. Yeah. I mean, that tracks. The Nitrous lives on my newly acquired Empire and stays mostly at my desk. Hell yeah. Hope all is well. Keep doing what you do for the community. Yeah. I mean, look, it's all I know how to do for the community at this point. Oh, was that a Cthulhu? Phrasing? Phrasing? 
Thank you, Matthew. I, I, you have clearly good taste in vape and good taste in liquids and really good taste in squonkers and RDAs. So Matthew, hell yeah, Matthew. Is that what that was? That's a Cthulhu? Okay, good, good. I'm glad it's a Cthulhu and not a .aio. Fuck .mod. Good on you, Brian. Uh, and then lastly, here's the last uh, last Assignment America, Assignment Planet Globe. Again, if you guys want to see your gear, you just take a picture of your vapes. It'll show up on a vlog. Think about that. That's crazy. <laughs> Francopath. Francopath sent in a mess of vape gear. Uh, he says, my name is Jean-Francois. Franco Path on the Discord. I've been an avid follower of yours for years. Learned to make coils with Kent's videos back in the day, along with Squidude's videos back in the day. Been vaping since 08, but have been on and off combustibles for a while. Cigarettes, cigars, etc. I will be totally smoke-free for a year on May 15th. That's how old this is. He is officially smoke-free for a year now, Franco Path, as of May 15th. And let me tell you, I don't miss the cigs or the stink. So here's my collection I got over the years. Keep in mind, some tanks don't fit with the mods. It was for the picture. Um, there's a lot of early Geek Vape gear in there. Uh, the Squonk 100 uh, and the Blue Pulse 22 millimeter on the left. Oh yeah, Blue, Blue Pulse 22 millimeter on the left. Um, there's a single 26 650 100 watt first Aegis, I think, on the right with the Steam Cave Ragnar on the top. I don't know if any of you guys are spotting any of this gear, but I don't think I am. Did Geek Vape make a 26650 Aegis? Did they make a 26650 Aegis? All right. Well, if they did, then that's news to me. If they did, that's news to me. I didn't know that that existed. 26650. Uh, there's also lots of early dripping years. Uh, RDAs, the classic Velocity clone. Yeah, I spotted that. The UD Imp. Yeah, I spotted that. The Tobacco ERE, top and bottom airflow. The one with the small cyclones on it. Wait. Top and bottom airflow? The one with the small cyclones on it. I don't know why I can't spot this. Top and bottom airflow? What's the point of that? What What's the point of that? Well, I still want to vape it. Uh, and he says, I know you hated the Vape X geyser. Uh, so did I. <laughs> Flimly, flimsy and unreliable. Leaks, leaks, leaks. Mostly direct lung. My daily bangers are usually Geek Vape mods with a steam crave on top. Yeah, I like big tanks. But I also use the Geek Vape Boost B100 and the Boost Plus 40 watt with an RBA and many others on a daily basis. Maybe some MTL thrown in there too. Thanks for all you do for the vape community, informing it and spreading the news, either good or bad. Hell yeah, Francopath. Hell yeah, Francopath. That's a mess. You even got a big, like, you know, that big RDA from, uh, from uh, Vaporgate, that huge RDA. One thing that I noticed on here, you see this starship at the end? That, I immediately Googled it after I saw this image, and it lets you or gives you the ability to hit three like cannabis THC dab carts in one thing. It fires all three and then you inhale through the big glass topper and you inhale three dab carts at the same time. It's like, what's a tolerance? Why, why, what's a tolerance? Just goodbye tolerance. Smell you later, I'll never be stoned again. So that's what you guys are vaping. Again, if you want to see them on this stream, just email me, nick at groomgreen.com. Mark your subject, assignment, planet, globe. Chances are I'll see the attachment. It'll get used uh, accordingly here on this uh, vlog live stream. We've got about uh, another half hour till I need to release the dogs from their crates because I have to feed them because my wife is gone. So it's like, you know, it's just Nick by himself. $400 raised in the last 10 minutes. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Holy crap, that makes me so happy. Right to the top of the leaderboard. Get out of here, Maya. Addy for the win. Hell yeah. Don't stop now. We're going to crush this thing.
We're gonna we're gonna make her day. First place. I lo you love to see it. You just love to see it. Thank you for that. Thank you. Keep buying popcorn. Thank you for the update, Lee. I appreciate that. Um, let's, uh, we should sing happy birthday. I feel like it's happy birthday time. I, f I really do. Hang on. Let me make a, let me do one, one, one quick thing. I forgot to check the, uh, I know, I know. I forgot. Uh, phew, it's close enough. Close enough, Steve-O. Close enough, Steve-O. We got Steve-O and freaking Patrick Conquest. If anybody else has a birthday today, get those birthday requests in literally right now so we can sing happy birthday. And I want to give you a heads up, uh, Patrick Conquest. I packed up a boosh box for you this morning, Patrick Conquest, and it was just haphazardly done. This is not your official birthday boosh box, okay? I just want you to know. I had some ideas. I'm gonna put together a different box. What I what I tossed you today is like half of it. I couldn't track down what you had requested, so I hope you got something else you know, in, in your box. Anyway, I just want you to know, you got a boosh box on the way. You'll have another boosh box on the way. Don't even trip, dog. Uh, any, uh, any other birthdays? Any other birthdays? Oh, it's okay, Kari Bird. I, I appreciate you being here. July 9th, Positive Movement e-bikes. Do you have a different name? Or I'm just going to write down Positive Movement e-bike. <laughs> the 9th is uh, definitely close enough. What's today? The 6th? Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, Kent has like a phobia of singing happy birthday. He's like scared of the song. He doesn't like it. It's weird. <laughs> Not your birthday till November? Okay. Okay. Super Nate, better late than never. Appreciate you, pimp. Let's sing happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday. We got some birthday. Yash? Wait, Yash, it's your birthday today? Hell yeah. All right, Trevor and Yash. Am I saying that right? Yash, I really hope so. And if I'm not, I apologize. Uh, no, that works. Phrasing, that works. That hella works. Um, let's sing happy birthday, you guys. <coughs> Wait, Luis. Luis. Luis, happy birthday to you. <coughs> Let's sing happy birthday, you guys. I hope you guys sing along with me. <clears throat> happy birthday to you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patrick Conquest. Also Steve-O, also Trevor, AKA Positive Movement Bicycle Incorporated. Also Yash, also Luis. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room, 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 skip around the room. Did you skip around the room or not? It's law. It's federal law, I believe. You have to skip around the room on your birthday. That's crazy. Happy birthday, you guys. Well done. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday. Appreciate you. And I hope it's a good one. You know, I'm just a fan of birthdays. Just a fan of them. And I believe singing to people on their birthdays. Make, make people uncomfortable like Twisted Messes? Don't care. Skip around the room. I'll start skipping around the room. I'll start skipping around the room. How about that? I'll skip out or skip around the room out of spite. If, if the birthday people aren't skipping, <laughs> then I'll skip out of spite. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday. Uh, I don't think I saw so many Super Chats come in. 
you know what? We're going to get there eventually. And, and I'd like to save more of the fun stuff for a little bit later. But we're almost an hour in now. And I think... Oh, Lee. I have a quick announcement just for one person. Lee. <laughs> Not the real Gerard Butler. Hey, uh, I forgot to send you Glamour today. So I'll, I'll send it to you uh, next Wednesday. And I'm sorry. I completely spaced it. I got to the... I got to the sunset mailboxes and uh immediately was like ah, i forgot lee's liquid so i'm sorry so i'm sorry so I'll, I'll get it to you next week you know what good things come to those who wait you know glamour amortorium raspberry ripple comes to those who wait uh we're gonna get there eventually it's gonna be reading time we're gonna have some story time with grim green right now Uh, I hate the world and everything about it. If you haven't yet, join CASA because CASA is our first line of defense between us, the smoke-free people, and really, really terrible legislation. Things like usage bans and taxes and flavor bans. CASA is how we stop them. It's, it's, it's our main way to stop them. They are, our, they are our consumer organization. I would be shocked beyond words right now if anybody watching a Grim Green video or a Grim Green live stream was unaware of CASA. I promote CASA like into the ground. I want everybody to join them. I want everybody to follow the calls to actions and protect our rights, man. It's crazy. They really want us smoking cigarettes. And uh, I, to that, I say no. So yeah, please join CASA. Also, going to throw this out there again, just to the vaping community. The Veritas cohort study is going on. If you have only ever smoked less than 100 cigarettes in your life, and you're currently a nicotine vapor, boosh, you could be a part of this. I'll post a link in the description. Or you could just probably Google uh, the Coeir Veritas cohort study. Get plugged in, get involved. You might get to be part of like a, a really cool, like really important vape study that's going on. The Veritas cohort study, as it says, are surveying to identify if there are any risks, risks concerning the use of nicotine vaping products for people that have not smoked or smoked less than 100 cigarettes in your life. If you were a never smoker and you just picked up vaping, you could be part of this. Just going to put that out there. Be part of science. Be part of the future. Um, where did my main newsy thing go? Yeah, this is the dumbest thing. This is the dumbest thing. I'm going to read you an article here. Uh, this is this is Schumer. This is Chuck Schumer, our favorite Democrat from New York. Chuck Schumer, just. Uh, just swerving a little bit outside of his lane, you know, just swerving way, way outside of his lane. I'm going to read you this quick article. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. The first half of it's basically about drugs, but there's one part that I want to get to that I think, I think affects me directly. And I think affects you guys directly. And I think affects all, all of us directly slipped right into that Jersey accent. All of us, all of it. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're right. Absolutely. 15 minutes. Matt Sinister's memorial, 15 minutes of news and advocacy. Uh, here we go. Uh, the, here's what we're reading from. Uh, Real Clear Health. This was written by Brian McNichol, who I, I don't know who that is, but this person, Brian, wrote a really great piece here for Real Clear Health. Uh, it's not that hard anymore in a state legislature to get a bill across the finish line that will legalize or at least decriminalize marijuana use. But outside of the West Coast, few states even thinking of legalizing cocaine, heroin, and other hard drugs. Not long ago, marijuana legislation was dead on arrival in most state capitals. So it's possible Overton's window will shift to these other drugs too, but it's fair to ask why marijuana and none of the others? The argument against marijuana, even in recent years, was that alcohol could be used in cooking or drank in small enough amounts that it essentially had no power to intoxicate. But weed was smoked or eaten or ingested otherwise solely for intoxication, solely 
to get stoned. So the move to legalize marijuana means we've said as a society that we're fine with substances whose sole reason for use is to intoxicate the user, but we're not yet fine with getting obliterated legally on cocaine or any other hard drugs. What is the standard? What today are we willing to allow governments to do to us in the name of protecting us from ourselves? Obviously, outlawing alcohol is out of the question in terms of protecting us from potentially life-damaging substances. We've tried it, and no one is for going back there. So is marijuana, although there are those who favor letting it be smoked but not ingested via gummies or cookies. Doesn't that seem strange? They want to legalize cannabis, legalize marijuana in states, but they say that they're, they're going to control how you consume it. No edibles, only smoking it. Only the most harmful way to consume it is the way that you can consume it. That's, that's fine, I guess. Uh, uh, although there are those who are in favor of letting it be smoked but not ingested via gummies or cookies, inevitably, so will be harder drugs. Mushrooms and other drugs are already legal in some states and do indeed seem to be functioning today with likely more to follow. They restrict, tax, and bar TV and radio advertisements for cigarettes, but it's easier to get around that ad barrier these days, and the products are age-restricted, legal, widely available, and not going anywhere. Okay, now we get to vaping. Now we get to vaping. First, what category does it fall into? Does it go with marijuana or even harder drugs because of its potential as a delivery system? Does it go with cigarettes since most of it view, most view it as a healthier, no tar alternative to smoking as a nicotine delivery device? Indeed, some stop smoking experts have hailed vaping as an off ramp from smoking addiction that is beneficial in the long run. Yep, some, <laughs> some stop smoking experts. These questions would be academic and inconsequential, but for the fact Congress is getting involved again, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer asked the Food and Drug Administration to investigate a new Chinese-made e-cigarette that Schumer charges is being marketed to children. This is almost always a pretext for declaring the product a danger to children then paving the way for banning it. Vaping is already age protected, and research shows places where vaping is available for adults do not have higher incidences of youth involvement. Here's the really important part. Here's the Schumer is trying to cancel me thing from the, from the title of this vlog. Schumer. Chuck. Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer is also trying to schedule hearings on banning flavored vaping products and has indicated he intends to treat social media influencers who recommend vaping products as televised commercial in potential future legislation. That means that if Schumer can introduce and pass the legislation he intends to, it would make every vape influencer Criminals. I'd be a criminal. This would be illegal. I can't advertise cigarettes on TV, can't advertise vaping on TV, and if they want to make me a social media influencer, they want to categorize social media influencing as a televised commercial, well, then that would be illegal. Everything I'm doing right now would be illegal. Everything I say, every review would be illegal. Every live stream would be illegal because I'm a person on social media recommending vaping to people who smoke cigarettes so they don't have to fucking smoke cigarettes anymore. And Schumer wants to outlaw that. That is psychotic. That's psychotic. That's what a crazy person does. This is psychotic. 
Now, I can't imagine he's going to be super successful with it, but I mean, look around, read the room. He could be successful with this. So we might get to look forward to a future in America where no vape influencers. Damn, I guess I'll have to finally go get a real job after 14 years on the internet. Unbelievable. Illegal. I'd be illegal. Legion, illegal. Frames Janklin Vapor, sorry, illegal. Mike Vapes, DJ LSB Vapes, suck my mod. Rip Trippers, nope. You would be treated as a televised commercial and therefore it would be illegal under federal law for me to even get on the internet and tell a smoker that they should try vaping. How like weird ass, like iron curtain Chinese communist propaganda does that feel like? We must control the flow of information. We must control the flow of information. We can't let consumers know that vaping is better than smoking. You don't want people to know so much so that you're going to make me illegal. Interestingly, Schumer is also co-sponsoring legislation introduced by Cory Booker of New Jersey and Ron Wyden of Oregon, known as the Cannabis Administration and Opportunity Act which would remove cannabis from the federal list of controlled substances. This would make it easier for banks to lend marijuana businesses money and lead to significant escalation in marijuana production and marketing in the U.S. So the question becomes, what is the majority leader's stance on when government should regulate these products? He's ready to dramatically increase access to cannabis, whose only real use is to get high, but he wants to ban vaping, whose high... <laughs> when used properly is equivalent to that of cigarettes. I've said this a trillion times on live streams. There's no benefit to overdoing it with nicotine. You know, if you drink alcohol, I feel a little buzzed right now, have two, three more beers, drunk. If I overdo it with alcohol, the benefit is I get drunk and I get confident and handsome. Overdoing it with cannabis, sure, you'll just launch off to the moon. You'll go to another dimension. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll talk to spiritual beings. Overdoing it with weed gets you higher. Overdoing it with nicotine just makes you sick. Overdoing it with nicotine gives you a headache. <laughs> Overdoing it with nicotine makes you nauseous. There's no benefit to overdoing it with nicotine. It doesn't ever intoxicate. It's not the intoxication thing. He's willing to let far more Americans get access to far more weed. And it's not the exposure to kids thing. He's all for gummies in flavors such as grape, mango, chocolate, and a variety of candy delivery devices, gummy bears, sour worms, pop rocks. And realistically, it's not the damage to yourself thing because he doesn't seek to take cigarettes off the market and vaping is not as harmful as either. We still have some sorting out to do in terms of what should cause us to ban or allow things along these lines. But from what has been established already, banning vaping at this point would seem inconsistent with the decisions Schumer and others have already made and clearly want to make in the future. And since we can't identify any extreme threats, we should err on the side of freedom and let adults use the products they want. Period. So that's it. That's news and advocacy. Maybe I got five minutes left. I'll put a link to this down in the description where you can check it out for yourself. But uh, Schumer, I wish I had a, a, an, an F Schumer like I had. F the FDA. F Schumer. F Schumer. <laughs> F Schumer. Uh, we're actually going to end this news and advocacy uh, literally right now. Four minutes left. Nick Guy the Science Man. Nick Guy the Science Man. Would you just look at this? Would you just look at this? Here we are from Heart Research UK. New study finds vaping benefits blood vessel health as much as other nicotine replacements. Yeah. So this is something that's been studied extensively. And that's why I always hate it when people on the internet or Twitter or Facebook or what's the new Facebook fake Twitter that Mark Zuckerberg started today? What's it called? It's called, it's called something dumb, but it's a, it's a, it's a fake Twitter. It's like a 
clone. It's like a clone of Twitter. It's like a Twitter clone. Anyway, uh, we've talked to, this, you know, cardiovascular health. You see people like uh, American Heart Association talking about, oh, vaping, cardiovascular health. You see World Health Organization, oh, vaping, cardiovascular health. Well, what does the science actually say about vaping and cardiovascular health? Well, this new study found that it benefits the blood vessels as much as other nicotine replacement therapies. New study, Sheffield Ham University investigating e-cigarettes effects on the blood vessels has found that they are as beneficial for the cardiovascular system as conventional nicotine replacement therapy when stopping smoking. Well, holy shit. Would you just look at that? Would you just look at that? This was a randomized controlled trial involving 248 smokers who wanted to stop smoking. They were randomly divided into three groups, hence the randomized controlled trial. Uh, one group received nicotine-rich e-cigarettes. Don't you just love the way that sounds? Nicotine-rich e-cigarettes? I want nicotine-rich e-cigarettes all the time. Threads. That's right. It's called threads. Nobody sign up for threads. I, you know, nobody sign up for that nonsense. Uh, okay, so 248 smokers wanted to stop smoking. They were randomly divided into three groups. One group was given nicotine-rich e-cigarettes, another nicotine-free e-cigarettes, and the third received traditional nicotine replacement therapies. So anything from a, a gum and a patch, things like that. Traditional lozenge, maybe gum patch traditional nicotine replacement therapy um, all three groups received behavioral change support that nhs stop smoking services provide so government funded government provided the main focus of the study was how to find how these three aids affected the cardiovascular system it was found that their immediate positive effects in the small arteries and veins with no significant difference between the three groups. And these benefits were most pronounced in those who smoked more than 26, 20 cigarettes per day. The improvement in blood vessel health persisted in both the medium, three months, and long term, six months after stopping, after stopping smoking in all three groups without any difference between the groups. The results show that e-cigarettes offer similar benefits to blood vessel health compared to established stop smoking methods and uh, reduce CVD risk. This will help smokers make an informed decision about which option to choose. So it's just some science, you know, World Health Organization, they love science until they suddenly don't. But I'm going to put that in the chat. I'm going to put it out in the description. And this is a thing that you can share literally anywhere and everywhere where there's science needed. 50 seconds left. I'll just leave this here from pulmono Pulmonology Advisor. Vaping is more effective than conventional smoking cessation therapies. Would you look at that? Among individuals attempting to quit smoking, nicotine e-cigarettes are more efficacious than conventional nicotine replacement or behavioral smoking cessation therapies and may provide beneficial reducing smoking-related health risks. So I'm going to throw some science down there. And then the last 23 seconds. Pow, here we go for Australia. Email your federal MP. Australia's vaping laws have failed. It's time to show elected representatives that real Australians want common sense regulation that works by any metric. The prescription model of Australia is just an abject failure, just complete abject failure in every way possible. It's like it accomplished nothing. Y youth vaping is up. Youth smoking is up at the same time. Adult smoking is up. By any metric, it is a complete disaster of a failure. Email. If you're in Australia, of which I think there's one person here from Australia maybe, <laughs> email your federale. Email your federal MP Tell them who you are, what you did, why you hate cigarettes, why you love vaping, and why you think that the prescription model is an abject failure because, oh man, it completely is an abject failure. Obviously, I'm going to stay on top of all of these things. Obviously, I'm going to stay on top of the Chuck Schumer thing. I'll be interested to see if he really has the intestinal fortitude to like submit legislation that would ban 
anybody from talking about vaping on social media. Doesn't that just sound like the most like Orwellian weird 1984 thing? Like we're going to try to ban everybody on social media from talking about this one thing. We're going to make it illegal. You just can't talk about this one thing. Thought police. They're coming for you. <laughs> I don't know if it's that excessive yet, but the thought police, they, they, they are coming for you. Actually, it is that excessive. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we're done. Matt Sinister, happy to see your face every week still, man. Happy to see your face. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. I'll throw some links for the things that I mentioned and talked about down in the description below. Some Nick Guy the Science Man, some uh, Chuck Schumer, some uh, Australia vaping. You know, uh, it's fallen apart. The wheels are kind of falling off the bus in Australia. I don't know if anybody's uh, like keeping real heavy tabs about what's going on in Australia, but if you're on Twitter and you follow like Alex Wodak or Colin Mendelson, you know exactly. Uh, Pippa, Pippa, Pippa's live. She does a lot of good stuff about Australia. The wheels on the bus in Australia are literally falling off. Like everybody is recognizing that this is a failure. The people that have been tasked to enforce this are basically saying, we can't enforce this. What are you fucking crazy? We, you can't even keep drugs out of your country. How do you expect us to stop thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of, you know, disposable vapes from China? What have you completely lost your mind? Wheels are falling off the bus in Australia. Yeah. Well, that's just another example of the of the really good working drug war that we have. Yeah. Cocaine all over the White House. Who knows what's going to become of that? Kind of sweep that under the rug, I guess. Like, oh, no, no, drug war still works. This drug war still works. The drug war still works. It's still the first line of defense between us and, uh, you know, God, people enjoying themselves, I guess. Can't have that. That would be terrible. That would be terrible. Can't have that. Uh, I, I'm going to jump into some super chats right now. Like I said, I'll have everything I talked about. All the links for news and advocacy will be down in the description. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's, it upsets me on a daily basis. I go to Twitter and like the first thing I read just always sets me off <laughs> just into a rage. And especially today, the World Health Organization was really, really going bananas. The World Health Organization is saying things like vaping is not better than smoking. Vaping is just as bad as smoking. Vaping can cause addiction and uh, the batteries can explode sometimes and the e-liquids have things in them world health organization is going out of hand out of control i was gonna say out of hand out of control and it was just one of those days where it's like why are we even bothering it's the fucking world health organization who's gonna win in a fight the world health organization or fucking tattooed trash on youtube pick your <laughs> pick your fighter <laughs> Oh, the World Health Organization is going to win? Oh, okay. I had a feeling they were going to win anyway. Let's, uh, let's jump into some Super Chats, you guys. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where we left off. Lead Sled. Lead Sled, bro. How you been? Got to hang out with Lead Sled in Louisiana. Hope you've been keeping well, sir. Lead Sled says, so welcome and hello. Uh, meet up in Winter Garden Sunday. Hope to see you all. Meet up in Winter Garden Sunday. Hope to see you all. I didn't know anything about a meet up in Winter Garden Sunday. And two, where's Winter Garden? <laughs> Where is that? Can I get there by Sunday? I don't think I could. I don't think I could. Fishy. Ah, yep. Ah, crap. It looks like Fishy's going broke on popcorn again. Fishy. It's, it's so worth it. You're going to have so much delicious popcorn and... You're just going to put a smile on my niece's face like she's never had before. So it's it's win-win, Fishy. I appreciate you, bro. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Vicky Benji, scam bait. I am so stoked to meet some of the cool kids Sunday. So excited. Benji and I are ready to see you all. Please be safe, everyone. Uh, love Nick. Love you all so much. Vicky, 
I can't make it on Sunday. I didn't what what's happening on Sunday. I didn't know. Where's Winter Garden? Why am I talking like this? Is this on the East Coast? Is this Winter Garden, Florida? Oh, I can't make it to Florida by Sunday. Listen, have fun, you guys. Meet up in Florida. That's sick. I wish I could make it. I'm trying. I'm gonna be in Ohio in September for that for that meetup. I would like to do a Southern California Cool Kids uh, Ghost Rider at Night meetup, but you know we don't need to go into specifics here. Have fun, Vicky, and thank you. And hey, Vicky, your Raspberry Ripple did go out today. Unlike Lee's, I know. I'm a jerk, but yours did go out today. Steven, that's very gracious of you. Love the show and the channel. Thanks, Nick, for helping me stay off the SIGs. Keep up the harm reduction. Keep clucking chowds. Hell yeah, clucking chowds. And hell yeah, stay off the SIGs. Steven, that's the only currency I literally ever need ever, you know? I have a Patreon so I can pay my bills, but if I could pay my bills in like good mushy feelings for seeing people quit smoking cigarettes, then that's all I would ever need. A hundred percent, Steven. Bump that fist. Congratulations to you. And thank you so much. We got SVK vapes. Love popcorn season. Ordered two sets of all stars. Love what you do and love every one of you in the chat. And Tears of the Kingdom stream was banging. Oh, thank you. You know, nobody ever mentions the Tears of the Kingdom stream, but I had a lot of fun yesterday, SVK. I hope you're keeping well. And just mow that popcorn. Just mow the popcorn. Mow it. You know what they, like in, uh, what's that movie? <sighs> European Vacation. European Vacation. Anybody remember European Vacation? Chevy Chase? Remember when Rusty meets that girl in Germany? And uh, turns out she's American. And he's like, so you want to go scarf some Grimace Proportions? That was like a cool way to say eat a shit ton of food. Scarf some Grimace Proportions. Omar, that's very gracious of you. Which, comes, which country comes to mind with the tastiest e-juices? The tastiest? I'm biased. I'm biased. Uh, I, I think for a long time, and this isn't just American exceptionalism, I think for many years, the tastiest e-liquids were coming straight out of the United States of America. Hands down, hands down. Now, now, I don't know. There, I, I, you know what, I don't know. I've had really good UK EU liquids. Um, one of my favorite liquids right now comes from Indonesia. And so I like Indonesia has some really tasty, really sweet mentholated juices. Also mung bean, you know, have you had mung bean? It's so tasty. So that's a difficult question to answer. I'm just going to say America because it was just the 4th of July. America. Gunny, <laughs> that's very gracious of you. Late to the vlog tonight, uh, so I had to pay the cover charge. That's right, you did. Uh, hope you had a great fourth. Gunny, thank you, bro. I did have a great fourth. I hope you had a great fourth too. And it's okay. If you're late next time, you don't have to. I'll charge you half price, so half the cover charge price. That's okay, Gunny. New Wave Dave, shit, yeah, that's very gracious of you. Uh, he says, my cat and I just flew in from Jamaica. I spend most of my time there in the hospital because my cat thought it'd be funny to clip a chunk of tuna to my air tank while scuba diving in a reef. Typical New Wave Dave's cat, you know? Typical New Wave Dave's cat. And here's the thing, I bet it was funny. I bet it was funny till, till, you, get, till you went to the hospital, you know? But I bet it was funny, New Wave Dave. <laughs> Mallory Gates, uh, you are not trying to sell anything. What you and many other people do is give other vapors the best information on the newest. This is clearly infringing on your First Amendment rights. Yeah, you know, yeah, it is. I mean, it, it definitely is. And this argument, the First Amendment argument, was also made way back in the day, 2015, eight was it, 16, 8, 8, 16, where the federal government said that vape shops and employees and signage and marketing materials are not allowed to mention anything about harm reduction. You're not allowed to mention anything about vaping being less harmful than smoking. You're not allowed to mention anything that has, you know, uh, no carcinogens in it, no tar in it. You're not, it was literally a gag order from FDA saying, look, 
We know these products have no tar and are less harmful for you, but to the people selling them, you can't tell customers that information. This is a gag order on retail establishments legally being able to tell people that smoking is worse for you than vaping. That's what it feels like. It feels like a big daddy government just sitting down in my chair right here and deciding what I can and can't say on the internet, what truthful things I can and can't say on the internet. You know, if we don't have the constitution, we don't have anything. So, you know, it's like first amendment rights. Yes, it was so important. It was the first amendment to the constitution. They're like, nope, freedom of speech. We forgot that we left it out. The first amendment, yes, freedom of speech. First one. And then you retracted one, and I hope you got a refund for that. Vicky Benji again with the Super Chat of the Beast. I love it. I'm here for it. I'm a legal cannabis patient. I use cannabis, and it helps me. It helps my nausea, and it helps me eat. It also helps my pain. I call BS. You know, I agree with you in that I do believe there is medical you know, uses for cannabis, 100%. I, I've seen cannabis shrink tumors. I've seen cannabis, like you say, helps with people's nausea, helps with pain, helps with, you know, uh, appetite. I've seen that. I know, I know that it does those things for sure. But it also messes you up. You don't get to use it without it messing you up. So even if you're using it for nausea, it's still going to mess you up. Even if you're help using it with pain, you're like, oh, this really does help my pain, but I'm all messed up. It's still going to mess you up, right, Vicky? I mean, I don't know, you know? I know. I, I mean, I know that there is a whole medical side to cannabis, but it does it does mess you up. <laughs> it does mess you up all good. Can we get a Kassad.org plug up in this shindig? Uh, hell yeah. You weren't around for the beginning of the news and advocacy, but I said a lot of very, very nice things about Kassad.org. Very, very nice things. I hope you're doing well, Logan Exhales. There's a fist bump for you. I hope you're doing kick-ass 9,000, Logan Exhales. Just living that Yoha life. Uh, I hope everything is good for you. We need to hang out again. We need to get on a live stream or something again, you know? We need to drink some beer again. So yeah, I'll, maybe I'll leave Kasa up here. Maybe we'll just, uh, here's what we'll do. We'll take Kasa and we'll shrink it like this. And we'll just make the stack again, you know? There you go. This vlog is now uh, officially, unofficially, non-monetarily sponsored by uh, Kasa.org. Kasa.org. Harm reduction saves lives. Hell yeah, Logan. All right, we got one more from Mick. Uh, you can always become a popcorn influencer. I could. Yeah, but then, you know, you get into mukbang territory when you become a food influencer, you know? It's never like, this popcorn is good. It becomes, I'm going to try to eat 67 bags of popcorn in 15 minutes. And then I just, I'm going to suffer. I'm just going to become a mukbanger. Yeah, well, can't talk about vaping. Yeah, look, I agree, Tom. I agree. RFK Jr., what a what a trip that guy is. You know, he's just a wild card. He's just a wild card. I find myself really agreeing with him sometimes. And then other times I'm like, oh, I don't necessarily agree with you on that. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Uh, Tom Lyford in the chat said, uh, free speech social media thing since social media is the new town square forum. I don't think that the government gets to come onto YouTube and tell you what you can and can't say. I, I think that's, uh, I, I think there is a big uh, First Amendment thing there. I, I think there's a big First Amendment thing happening there, you know? Uh, yes, Breeze Tones, I have. Who hasn't? What 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 red blooded American hasn't? Um, let's see. We've already done that. We've already done that. We've already done that. I think I know what time it is. It's time to kick back a little bit, chill out a little bit, get some retro vic. Ba 
Let's retro vape something. I posted this. I posted this on my uh, Instagram, but I got this Twisted Timmy's mod and I never used it. And I dug it out and it's been sitting on my desk just waiting to get some use. Now, now is the day it's going to get use. What we're going to be retro vaping is this topper right here. Anybody? Anybody? Remember? I mean, that's clearly the Asmodus logo, which was one of the weirdest logos in all of vaping. One of the, maybe the weirdest logo in all of vaping. Asmodus, it's a big, I mean, I don't even know how big this RDA is. Let's measure it. Let's mu measure this. 30 millimeters. Yeah, it's a 30 millimeter RDA. 30, three zero millimeter RDA. This is probably, how old? This is probably, I wanna say that this came out in 2012 or 2013. 2012 or 2013 this came out. This is before, this is pre, this is like pre-vaping really hitting big and going nuts. But if you look at this airflow, okay, first of all, it's a 30 millimeter RDA with the two tiniest like recoil rebel dots on there. Hey, hang on, let me uh, trim my fingernails. That one was especially gross. This one still has silver paint on it. Just be there forever. Yeah, looking pretty good. Let me cut this thumb. Let me cut this fingernail down a little bit. You know, I usually do this off camera, but you know, I don't want my hands to look gross. Tiniest little airflows in the history of ridiculousness, with the biggest deck on the history of man. So top cap is nothing. It's just a. It's just a cover. It's just essentially like a, like an old chuff style cap. Serves no purpose. It's just to cover the top. Now, if you keep looking, hang on, keep looking right here. That, that is a set screw. And you can't take the cap off without unscrewing the set screw first. Look at this tiny little screw right here. Boop. Now... Now you get access to the deck, four post deck, huge post holes, but what, what are these? Why, why, why the little fins? Why the little fins? I don't understand it. Why the little fins? I don't understand it. They don't serve any purpose other than to make building on this Fucking annoying, annoying. Good night, Vicky Benji. Hope you have a great night. Hashtag shed time. Uh, yeah, this was a, you would have to drill out the airflow if you wanted any sort of like good vape from it. You know, you'd have to drill out the airflow. So we're going to attempt to throw some coils in here in these gigantic holes. <laughs> gigantic holes. That's what she said. and hopefully not have to deal with these fins. Why are these here? This is dumb. I haven't used this RDA in probably 10 years and it's still upsetting me. It's still upsetting me that those fins are there. They serve no purpose, literally no purpose. Um, so the coils that I got out to try to sort through tonight are some Red's Rippers, you know? He's got some a little bit bigger they could, he couldn't have been trolling with this design, Kent. He sold, I have two of these RDAs, believe it or not. Two of them. Maybe we can put some eight Red Rippers Aliens V3 in here. Let's go for it. Here's the coil company du jour today. Shout out to Red, Red's Rippers. We're going to be putting these. Ice storm. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's calm down. Ice storm alien V three nichrome eighty three millimeter point one two point one five dual. 
that should be fine on a dual parallel box, which this is a dual parallel box. In fact, we could probably even fit bigger coils in here, way bigger coils. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to do some shit, shit, shit. Okay, it can go in that way fine. Oh my God, I don't have these screws all the way up. I don't, like, why would you put the fins on there just to troll? Like, that doesn't make any sense, Kent. Doesn't make any sense, man. We're going to make a, a 100,000 RDAs with this weird fin on it, just so that it upsets everybody. See, it can go in like this. It can go into those holes? Whoops. Coil fell straight out. But I don't think I can make the stretch. We might have to go like round wire in this because that is a huge gap from the center, from this center, from here to here, long, from here to here, less long. But that's going to make it vape like dookie, like actual poo. actual poo all right i'm gonna try to cut this lead even though it's like it's weird and i only have to cut the negative lead because of the fin if this fin wasn't here i could just slide this in instead of pre-cutting it fuck that's obnoxious okay dicky mo That is dumb as hell, but that's how this is going to have to be. This, this is what we're ending up with. This is sad. That is sad. I can't make the distance. I can't make it get to this hole. It has to go here. It can't go to the farther hole. Dumb. What a dumb RDA. I had little round wires in here, and I think that was the exact same way that I had it. All right. All right. I'm going to try to screw this down, and I'll show you what we ended up with. And the fin just gets in the way of literally everything. Literally everything. I'm guessing that this might be one of the worst vapes I've ever had, and I used to really like it. Yeah, and I can't even push the coil over because of the fucking fin. I can't get my tool in there to move it because of the fin. All right. That's dumb. That's a dumb install. Whoops. That almost hit me in the face. All right, here you go. Rate that install. That's a zero. That's a, that's a less than zero. That's where this coil has to live. There's nowhere else for this coil to live other than right there. And that is so dumb. Needs mesh. <laughs> Needs mesh, he says. Needs mesh. Needs more mesh. No, it needs like a, a freaking five millimeter you know, 12 wrap, 13 wrap on there to span the distance. All right, what time is it? What time is it? I got to go free the dogs. No, oh, okay, we're getting on 6 p.m. here. All right. Uh, I'm going to, let me go free the dogs real quick. I'm going to leave you with some uh, music that's way too loud. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? Hell no. I have a be right back screen. Peace. I'll be right back.
<laughs> okay, okay, we're back. I freed the dogs. There's gonna be a, a Schmurfy running around in here now. And that's perfectly acceptable. So on this side, I gotta cut this back lead again. Schmurfy, what are you doing? That is so dumb. Oh man, that's dumb. This is the dumbest of all dumbs. This is the dumbest of all dumb installs. And the fucking thing keeps me from it keeps me from moving the coil. It keeps me from getting my tool in there. It's like they did it deliberately just to make this install difficult. What would make this install really difficult? Uh, we could put big metal tabs on there, preventing anybody from getting their tools in it. Perfect. Book it. Fund it. Go with it. See, this is what we should do. We should. This is what we should do. A build off frames, Janklin. This fucking Asmodus RDA. All right, we got two coils installed, baby. Uh, let's test the resistance on Guar real quick before we go fully. And I just want to point out, this is essentially the same size device as Guar. Height, width, almost everything. That's fascinating. Yeah, see? This RDA is right at home on Gua. Right at home on Gua. What do we end up with? 0.13. Great. And that coil positioning, like, I can't express to you enough how obnoxious this coil positioning is. This is how it has to run. Just... When was the last time you saw a build that old school? That is so old school. Two off to the side, not even centered builds. And you can see that center post is even crooked a little bit because we didn't know how to do RDAs back in the day. So we just made like round center posts that just spun, <laughs> just spun literally every time. Do I have any Cloud9 cotton left? Ah, a bit. Meh, let's go with it. Let's use the last of the Cloud9 cotton in here. I'm going to keep the tin because I like it. I still think that's a little bit too much, but it's okay. It's not rocket surgery. We're just re-wicking an RDA. Actually, we need to glow this first. What am I even doing? Hotspots be gone. Yeah, maybe I could use a little bit more than 24 watts. All right, we're glowing. We're glowing evenly. It's about as evenly glowing as it glowing. That is the straight up wonkiest ass build that I have ever seen in an RDA. It's like, what is vaping? Don't even know. I'll try to clip these a little shorter. Well, that's as close as I can get. Okay, well, this should be really crappy, but let's go for it. I think I'm going to do it this way. Oh, the fins? Yeah, they get in the way of wicking, too. What can we do to make wicking this a pain in the ass? I don't know, metal fins on the side? That sounds like a great idea. How do 
we make this the worst vaping experience possible? You know, the Tobe had those metal fins too that I never understood why the Tobe had those metal fins. They didn't do anything. They didn't serve any purpose. They didn't like direct airflow or close off airflow. They just existed. This build is straight up jacked times infinity. Look at that. Look at this beautiful wicking job. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. This is top caliber wicking. This is a top caliber deck. Should be just as satisfying. We'll see. You know, I don't know. If it, I know exactly, it's going to crackle like crazy. I'm going to love it. Like, oh, this is so good. There's no way that those were AFC. Can't, I, I, I can't believe that that's real life, that those are AFCs. I can't imagine how. I can't imagine. No, it doesn't make any sense as an AFC. Hang on. Let's, let's look at this. Can't, let's look at this critically. <laughs> how do I even wick this much cotton so in order for this to function as an AFC Kentithy in order for that to function as an AFC you'd have to build the coil in front of it right you'd have to build it on this side so that it could block one of your airflow holes if you build this in a really awkward, specific way, then, you know, if you can somehow build a coil behind this pain in the ass metal tang, then the pain in the ass metal tang functions as an AFC? I find that so hard to believe. <laughs> I find that just incredibly hard to believe. Insane. I guess on the Tobe, they could have been AFCs. On the Tobe, they could have been AFCs. Now, see, I can't even tuck this cotton under here. Yeah, well, that's what we get. Looks familiar. I mean, I've used this RDA before. It looks familiar. Thankfully, this RDA has a really good uh, pop and paint situation. Really good pop and paint. Now, I'm going to put something in here that I like. Let's go for uh, Twisted Timmies. Let's go for Twisted Timmies. Let's throw the uh, Paradigm Shift. Pow! Caramel Funnel Cake Toasted Marshmallow Cream. Let's try to vape this. I mean, here's the thing. This is clearly a not great build, but this is how I used to build it. And if I had spent more time and like built my own aliens or whatever, I or round wire even, I probably could have gone from the negative post to the far positive and had the coil actually be a little bit more centered. But as you'll see with the airflow, doesn't super matter. Doesn't super matter. I feel like I'm I'm vaping mesh right now. It's like I'm I'm wetting down two kilos of cotton. Oh, oh, there's some vapors happening. So we're going to attempt to line up one of these two airflow holes as close as we can to our coil, which means we're going to put one right there. That's the dumbest shit ever. Oh my God. So these air flows, you can see it. You can see it through there. Hang on. Let me show you. You can see it. If you look through the airflow, they come, the airflow goes right up to this point like this lip the air flows right there 
And if you push this down a little bit, like on those O-rings, you can actually see the lip through the airflow. So not only is it crazy low airflow, crazy low airflow, but like I'm trying to get at least one of them to point directly at a coil, at least one of them to point directly at a coil. But it's a pop and paint. And two, look how much space there is above these coils, like in this chamber. Look at that. Look at that empty space. The flavor can't be good on this. The flavor cannot be good on this, but it's a pop and paint. So I can boop, paint my coils, boop, go like that. Because boop, we have to reset the tiny set screw so that when you set your airflow, it doesn't spin around or move or anything. Get that set screw in there. Boom, that shit is locked into place. Honestly, that's kind of a cool idea. That's kind of a cool idea. It's here. We built it. This is the Asmodus something. Don't even know the name of it, if I'm being really honest. It's called the Asmodus something or other. And some people would say Asmodus or Asmodus. That screw, yeah, the, the set screw um, pops off the flavor like crazy. <laughs> the set screw really pops off flavor. Here we go. Let's get it on the Twisted Timmies. Yes, that with that drip tip is just the worst. That looks just terrible. I like this Twisted Timmies box. I like the feel of it. Let's see if it fires very well. It's firing pretty good too. All right, here we go. Let's have a toot on the old Asmodus fucking honking terrible thing. It's so tight. The airflow is so tight. It's like, you know, you know how people nowadays, elitist people nowadays <laughs> are all about restricted lung. Ah, uh, restricted lung. I love restricted lung. Really good flavor. Just that real tight. It's like a pinhole. Like for any other rational person, you'd be like, oh, this is a mouth to lung. They go, no, it's a restricted lung. And you go, that's crazy. That's what this feels like. This feels like it could be a mouth to lung. The restriction on it is so severe. This could be rebranded in 2023 as like a high-end restricted lung RDA. Well, here's the thing. I'm just going to jam my foot in my mouth because that actually vaped pretty good. Maybe it's the flavor. Did you send me this drip tip? Super Nate? Fuck yeah, Super Nate. Dude, this drip tip comes out more often than you'd think. More often than you think. As Modias. I always said as Modus. Uh, Dwayne used to say as Modus. Because vape mod, modus. I think Ken always said as modus. I always said as modus, as modus, as modus. That was just one toot. I mean, can you imagine where we're going to go from here? It's so tight. The airflow is so tight. If you slipstream it, it's not terrible. If you slipstream it, it's really not that bad. And by slipstream, I mean let air in on one side of your mouth while inhaling on the other side of your mouth. Uh, maybe the Twisted Timmy's liquid is a little overflavored, but... Maybe not, and the flavor is actually good on this. It tastes like Twisted Timmy's. I mean, I don't have it side by side with like a real restricted lung boro or anything like that, so I can't really super judge the flavor, but this tastes like Twisted Timmy's in here. The airflow, while very restricted, smooth, smooth, 
I'm surprised too. Asmodeus. Is that the correct way to say it? <laughs> Asmodeus. Asmodeus. It is. It's hot as balls. It's hot as balls, Super Nate. It feels like a series build. That It feels much, much, much warmer than I think if this had normal airflow on it. It would just be a big cloud chase RDA. It would probably feel cool in your mouth. This is warmth. It's very warm. It's very tight. It's very warm. That's what she said. Warm, flavorful. I mean, I'm surprised by how well this is vaping. It is a bitch to build, and those tangs on there do no good. I need to fact check this. I need to. I need to know what atomizer this is. Asmodus, thirty millimeter, RDA. What does it come up with? Yeah, so this was apparently called the 1.5. It was just the Asmodus 1.5. Yeah, the Asmodus 1.5 30mm RDA. This is available on the internet for $6. $6. Oh, it's the 26650 Atomizer. That's what they called it. The legendary Asmodus 26650 Atomizer. Is this the right one? Yep, metal tangs and everything. Locking screws and everything. Yeah, okay, so it was the 26650 version 1.5 Atomizer. You, it's available for $6 if anybody. Asmoldias. I like that one, Ray. It's the most guar-like. That's why I like it. <coughs> hot it's just so hot it's just so hot and it's through a 510 atomizer it's so hot through that 510 atomizer and the dork level of this it sprays it it's like a jet of hot vapor right to the roof of my mouth and it's actually like painful painful yeah, you'd end up filling, you'd end up drilling four new holes into this if you could. If you could. Maybe with a drill press. Maybe. Maybe with a with a drill press, but not with like a drill. I remember back in the day I bought um metal, you know, metal drilling drills for my drill. I bought uh metal drilling drills for my Dremel. I bought a set of hand drills. I tried every which way I could to drill out airflow holes on things like the Patriot or the IGO W3. Could never do it. Could never do it. Dang. Well, we're still clucking childs over here with this. The flavor's good. That's what vaping used to be. This was this was before like the big boom of vaping. The big boom that happened in like 15, 16, 17, that time frame, this predates all of that. This is purely shooting in the dark. This is like, we don't know what's going to work. We're just going to try these two dinky little air flows. You know, Asmodus is back. I'd love to see him re-release this with a proper deck, no metal tangs, some proper airflow, big 30 millimeter RDA. Kind of here for it. One thing that I am going to, we're not going to do a giveaway today. Sorry. We're also not going to do a giveaway today. In fact, I'm going to need your help a little bit later. For anybody here that's here at the end, I'll need your help. <laughs> I'll need your help. We're not going to do a giveaway today. But one thing in the future that I'm going to give away, apart from the CASA fundraiser box, which is still very much a thing, I'm just trying to figure out how to do a raffle. I have not figured out the ins and outs of having trying to do a legal vape raffle. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, moving parts to this. That still exists, but one thing that I found in my retro box way up in the cabinet was an unopened brand new 
I mean, I opened it, so it is opened. Unopened for all intents and purposes. Brand new Craving Vapor branded Tugboat V2 that's never been used. It's never had a build in it. It is a, it is a relic. It is a relic of, of vaping. And so I might give those someday. I might give that away someday. It, it gets a little slurpy, Don Loco. It's slurpy because of where the airflow is. The airflow is right there, right at that lip, right where your liquid is, right where your cotton is. So I feel like every, every vap on this gets a little bit slurptastic. Yeah. Slurpy, but tasty. Model the raffle after the UK show raffle they did. I don't know how they did it. I didn't watch the, I didn't see the UK vape show raffle. Didn't see it. So still doing it. Now then, what a weird ass retro vaping. I saw that I went through, uh, up in this upper cabinet. Like I mentioned, I have a tackle box. It's the size of a Volkswagen. It's like a huge tackle box. And I was going through there today, looking for retro vape stuff. Gold. You guys, I found gold. I probably found 10 to 12 atomizers from like 2011, 2013 era that have never been on YouTube. They've never made it to a retro vape on the vlog. They've been hidden all these years. They're out. And for the next like 10 to 12 weeks on this vlog is going to be some of the best retro vapes that we've ever had. Some of the best retro vapes we've ever had. Just something to look forward to. You know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This as modest 26650 guy. Yeah, well, if you have the means to get one, try it out, you know? <laughs> Just give it a shot and see what happens. Let's go check in on Super Chats. Okay, okay. Not enough time. We're running long. We're already two hours in long right now. Uh, yeah, that's right. Popcorn and flute. Jangles. Got my popcorn order in. Hell yeah, you did, Jangles. Yesterday was my mom's first, birth, first birthday in heaven. This vlog is bussin'. Hey, Nick. Love you. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to your mom. I'm so glad you got your popcorn order in and you said it wrong again, Jangles. It's busting. B-U-S-T-I-N-G, busting, okay? Busting, Jangles. Listen, just takes a little bit of practice and you'll, you'll be a pro, you know? You'll be a pro. Bennett, hey, that's very gracious of ya, Bennett. Putting together some stuff with a, with the swag. Ugh. Can I send juice your way or is customs going to thieve it? It's some Colorado stuff. I started out with like eight years ago. Send it. You, you, customs ain't going to thieve nothing. Customs ain't going to thieve nothing. We're not. So listen, here's the thing. I'm not trying to incriminate myself by any means. There's a vape mail ban on here in the United States. Uh, if money exchanges hands, I cannot ship through USPS. If you bought. If I sold you this Twisted Timmy setup, I can't ship it to you. But if no money exchanges hands, I can send this to you for free. With the caveat that I can only send you 10 packages a month for free if no money has exchanged hands. So that is essentially just a gigantic loophole of Oh, oh, well, we can just ship whatever we want, whenever we want, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If I'm allowed to send 10 personal packages a month, then none of it matters. None of it matters. So send it. Customs ain't going to do nothing. Customs is, custom. I own, cust I own customs in this country. Actually, don't, Bennett, but give it a shot. Fishy, that's very gracious of you. The Asmodus logo looks like a butthole. Yeah, nobody can unsee that now. You know, here's the thing. <laughs> it does kind of look like a butthole. And here's the thing. I've always thought that the Asmodus logo was like the dumbest logo. Just the dumbest logo. Yep, there it is. Look at that little butthole hanging out there all pink and naked. Asmodus. It's like a wagon wheel, kind of. 
I don't know. I never liked their logo to begin with. So now that I know that it looks like a butthole, that just that actually makes me like their logo a little bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> a little bit more. All right, you guys. How's it going? How's everybody doing? You want to open some mail? I, I, I have some mail, and I think that means we should open it. And more importantly than that, it's time. There's a Schmurfy sleeping under my desk. What you doing, buddy? What you doing under there? Just a, just a Schmurfy? Just a schmurfy sleeping under my desk. Hey, that's okay. It's allowed. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. When Casey's not home, Schmurfy's just glued to my side 24-7. He sleeps under my desk. That's right. We were going to do mail. Did we already do the bumper? Let's do it again. good knife went so I got to use my better knife ha don't forget you guys Kasa. can I point to it imaginarily right there Kasa. join Kasa. if you haven't yet it's like what are you even doing yeah all right let's try to open this remember to cut towards your vital organs always Yep, yep, right towards my arm. That's a good good spot. Oh, this is an Inakin. Oh my god. Yep, Inakin. Knew it. Called it. Boosh. Inakin. What do we got here? We got a clips zip. We got a clips zip. Eh, you know, I was kind of an okay fan of the original clips pod. I don't think it was the most popular thing on earth, but I thought it was pretty dope. This is a little clips pod. <laughs> Some great difficulty that comes off. Is it magnetic still, though? That's the real question I need to know. And why is there so much plastic on it? Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that's a huge bummer. What a fucking huge bummer. Um, it's the clips. And on the original clips, this cap magnetic to the bottom. So you didn't lose track of it. That does not happen anymore. And that was kind of one of my favorite parts of the clips. It wasn't necessarily the size of it or the pods or the way that it vaped. I liked clipping this onto the bottom and being able to keep track of the cap. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. We'll get into it. I uh, still need to, you know, start my review for it. And I got some spare pods. I got a purple guy. I got a red guy. I got some spare pods. Oh, wait, these are pre-filled pods? Hang on a second. These are pre-filled pods. Well, we're going to try one of them literally right now. Why would we not? Which, which, which flavor is this? Uh, Aqua Bowl Ice. What is Aqua Bull Ice? Do I even want to know what this is going to vape like? All right, Aqua Bull Ice. There's no on off buttons. Let's try it. Yep. All right. I'm going to need to uh, pull this dinghy off the bottom here. Oh, God. I dropped it. There we go. There we go. Ha! <sighs> 
Hey. Hey, that's not bad. Throw down Thursday. Throw down Thursday. Hashtag Tron water. It's not good. It's not that good. It's not great. Aqua Bull ice. Tastes like Red Bull on ice. And I hate that flavor. And it kind of tastes like Red Bull. So I'm going to put this away. Remember pre-filled pods? Remember when, when people were selling and, you know, like manufacturing pre-filled pods and then FDA just banned all pre-filled pods and that's how we ended up with disposables? Thanks, FDA. I miss pre-filled pods. Like, genuinely. Come on, something good, something good, something good. And you never know. This is the Vaporesso Cos. The Vaporesso Cos. C O S S. Let's see, can we figure out what it's going to look like? Uh, it says it's 17 by 9 by 93.5 millimeters. Has a 0.6 mil pod capacity. Comes with a 1.2 coil head. Uh, it's got an internal 250 ma battery. Wait, what? Is this real? That seems like specs that don't make any sense to my brain. For a box this big, discovering that there's a 250 ma battery on the inside, I would be depressed. Oh, 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 my word. That's what it is. It's a pod and a charging case all in one. You slide this up. Boom, there's your pod. Hello, vape, 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 vape. This giant battery pack, I guess, sits in your pocket. you open what do you do you don't do anything you just charge you're an internal battery that's kind of slick that does just drop down in there and it vibrates and starts charging and then you can see the chargey buttons right here and then when you want to vape boop slide it up you might even be able to just vape it like this boop 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 it fills your pod? Shut up. Get out of here. It fills your pod. That would be amazing. Does it fill your pod? It doesn't fill your pod. What is this? It holds liquid. But does this fill your pod? It can't, it can't fill your pod. This doesn't fill your pod, does it? That's too good. Hang on, I dropped it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh God, I dropped it. No, I don't know where it is. Charging, it's seriously gone. I'll give you rubs on your belly, but I need to find this thing. Are you laying on it? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, hi, Smurfy, hi. Hi, buddy. How's it going? Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go. It's seriously, it's it's gone. I need my light on my phone to find this thing. I know you think I'm playing with you, but I'm not. Hi, Smurfy. Uh, it has disappeared. 
It has disappeared. It's completely gone. Oh, you found it. Schmurvy found it. Ha! Schmurvy found it. Good job, buddy. Good job. I know. I can't play with you right now. I know. I got your hopes all up because I came down and visited you under the desk. Okay, I found it. Does it fill your pod? I don't know. Okay, what sort of witchcraft is this? Why are these in Spanish? All the instructions are in Spanish? My only instructions are in Spanish. I wish I had learned Spanish. What? I wish these instructions were in English. I wonder why the quick start guides in Spanish. Is this only a, a, a Mexico product or a Spain product? Oh God. E-liquid in the capsule. Oh, there's two capsules. All right. Well, uh, obviously, I'm not going to figure this out literally right now. We're going to need to, uh, you know, do a review for it. But I am uh, flabbergasted that this is going to fill my pod up because this doesn't come out. The pod doesn't come out of the battery. The pod doesn't come out of the battery. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? It's kind of cool. Uh, at the very, very least, seeing something like this from Vaporesso is, uh, you know, it's a little bit refreshing, isn't it? It's a little bit refreshing. Okay. Okay, Vapresso. Vapresso cause fills the pod. Oh. Hey, that's kind of dope. So, uh Vapresso is clearly trying to go after what looks like a disposable market, but it's a huge pod on here. And they're even advertising it like a disposable. It's like 1300 puffs. So you can fill this up with whatever liquid and then you have a disposable type device where you're keeping the battery and not throwing it away. Uh, we met the new engineer. Oh yeah, of Inakin, Kent, I remember. I remember. He was cool as fuck. I don't remember, like, hi, Tukes. I vape uh, oh, on Twitch. I vape uh, uh, non-salt nicotine. I vape normal, free base, normal-ass nicotine. I avoid salt uh, at, at all costs. All right, Anakin. Listen, I'm kind of impressed by both of those things. I'm kind of impressed by both of those things. Kevin, this is from the United Kingdom, Kevin. Is there a Kevin from the UK here? Using the strongest tape on earth to seal this up. I like it. And yeah. And Good lord. Good lord. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, all right. We got some e-liquids. We got some unreal e-liquids. A new dimension of flavor. What is that? We got uh, blue Hawaiian. We got grape and pineapple. We got mango passion fruit. We got pineapple and... And lemon lime? Pineapple lemon lime sounds delicious. Raspberry tangerine? All right, Unreal. This is the Dropical. They call it Dropical. 
Dropical. Get it? It's like a pun. Dropical. All right, Unreal. Is there more than... Uh, okay, I got three flavors here. Sick. 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 Got an Unreal... Uh, you know, I'm supposed to hook this, do this here and, and have it hang, you know, like a point of sale type of thing. But I'm not going to do that. Shmurve! Candy. Short fill keychain opener. Great. Candy. Great. And what did I end up with? Lemon and raspberry. I like the branding on this a lot. Just FYI. I got the pineapple passion fruit. Boosh. And we got the pineapple blue raz. Dang. Blue Raz, one of my least favorite flavors of all time, combined with pineapple, one of my favorite flavors of all time. That's fascinating. All right, well, listen, we've got, we do many, many random liquid tastings on this vlog live stream. So chances are that's going to end up somewhere. I wish this wasn't on a keychain. I just like to use it. Sick. Dispergo vaping. Oh, there's a note to Nick. Uh, we thought you might like to try some of our flavors. We hope you like them. Lots of love, the Dispergo team. Hell yeah, P.S. We would really appreciate your opinions and a shout out on your YouTube channel would be much appreciated. Well, consider yourselves appreciated because I got some unreal lemon raspberry freaking pineapple freaking raspberry pineapple blue raz does that sound good to anybody pineapple blue raz i'm so fascinated by the idea of this flavor pineapple blue raz all right sick unreal thank you unreal unreal and then lastly i believe Let's see. Let's see what's in here. I actually think this is not a stubby x-ray. It's a big box. Uh, I feel like this might not be a stubby x-ray, but... Oops. I almost stabbed myself in the gut. And again. And, oh! almost stabbed myself in the leg. And again. And again. Blue packing peanuts. Why? 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 At least these are the ones you can eat. Because I know that Murphy's going to probably eat a bunch of these. Now I'm going to dig through this gigantic box for what I think is going to be two RTAs. Or maybe I'm getting pranked and it's just a big box full of packing peanuts. Seriously. Aha! Aha! Pow, 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 pow. Oh, okay. I guess there's no stubby x-ray. I'm gonna have to change the title of the video. Thought it was gonna be a stubby x-ray, but we got the uh, Osiris, Osiris RTA. We got an Osiris and an Osiris Mini RTA. Osiris, let's look at it. Uh, I don't have any of my up close cameras up. Okay, okay that's fine. I've seen this on uh, the interwebs. Yeah, it looks like a thick boy. Man, I wanted this to be in a 
x-ray stubby so bad, but that's okay because we have an Osiris 30 millimeter RTA, RTA. Uh, let's see, can this work? Nope, will this work? Yes. Osiris RTA, massive airflow across the bottom, flathead screws right there. Mess of airflow across the bottom. Flathead screws right there. Woo! So much airflow. Unadjustable airflow? Is that real life? Wait, what? What does that do? I'm so confused by this RTA already. No, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for Tuesday. I'm gonna save it for the Tuesday vape fiddle. We're gonna set this up on Tuesday. We're gonna set up two Osiruses. We're gonna set up a mini and a full size on Tuesday. Vape fiddle on Twitch, 11.30 Tuesday. Be there, it's Osiris time, baby. Stoked, stoked about that. Stoked about that Osiris. Phew, that's it, dude. That's what I got for mail. That's that's the mail. That's the mail portion of the vlog. I kind of want to compare. I want to see what the mini looks like. I don't know what I was expecting. It's just a mini version. But there is... Let me show you this. Even though I'm getting ahead of myself, and even though we're going to do this on the Tuesday vape fiddle... Look at this. Look at this bottom right here. What is this? O and F. Do you see that O and the F right there? And there's a little slider. What? Juice flow control? That's juice flow control? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, wait, is that? Oh, holy shit, okay. That's an interesting way to do it. F and O. I can't see what that's moving. I can't see what it's moving. I'm not saying that uh, this feels like a, a product Atmazoo could have released, but it kind of feels like a product Atmazoo could have released. Okay, all right, well, shit. We got the Osiris and the Osiris Mini. We're gonna do those on Tuesday. On my Tuesday vape fiddle over on Twitch, we're gonna build those this week. Stoked. An Osiris and Osiris Mini. Busting. Busting. Busting, I say. Busting. What's next on the let's check on the uh let's check in on the super chats. I feel like I need another beer, but I know that I don't need another beer, you know? Not oh, deck release? I, I like that everybody knows. Okay, so O is on, F is foff. Yeah, O, F is seated, O is off. So when you twist, it can come off. And then you seat this back in here, you give it a little twisty deal, you lock this to the F position, and then no releasings going on. Oh, just broken glass. I just broke the glass on this. How you ask? I don't know. But that is hella broken glass. Is that not broken glass? Am I crazy? 
That glass is broken. Hella broken. Damn. Hang on, Osiris Mini. So much airflow. And then F is locked. Okay, I'm gonna stop fiddling with this. Like I said, I'm gonna save it for Tuesday. I'm gonna save the vape fiddling for Tuesday. That's what we do on Tuesday. We fiddle, we vape fiddle. Now then, how about some super chats? Correct. Slater. Slater gets it. Slater gets it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Whoa, you guys, wing check. Wing check. 2023, we're on wing check. My hair's getting, you know, like a hippie in the back. Unbelievable. Busting is bussin' for the over 40. I can't bring myself to say bussin'. So... Busting. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, as far as why the glass on the Osiris was broken, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was broken when I pulled it out. I don't know if I broke it when I was fiddling around with the deck. I'm not sure what happened. Not sure what happened there. It could have been dead on arrival. It could have been broken. Um, I probably will not vape out of a broken glass tank. Maybe, Rob? Maybe. That seems a little aggressive, you know. But it could be. That very well could be. That very well could be. Yeah, there is a small glass. There is a small box with the bubble glass. Neil. There is a small glass. Bubble glass. Pow, right there. Is that for the mini or the full size? Oh, it says mini on the front. All right. So now we have a bubble glass for the mini. That's fine. That's fine. I know. I don't even know my own strength sometimes, you know? I just... Uh, I just pick up things and I just crush them. I don't even know. I get in my car. I grab the steering wheel. Just I pull it right off. I'm like, damn. So don't hand me an Osiris RTA because that glass will get just Hulk smashed into the ground. Okay. Butthole, that's right. Ray Buildable. Here's the thing. Toll the bell. <laughs> Uh, we're going to hell, uh, but also love you, Nick, uh, ha and the cool kids and everyone else that's nice. Yes, everyone else that's nice. Hashtag Grim Army, hashtag Hail Odorous, hashtag Fun Fact Ray Buildable. Guar, uh, uh, Beyond Hell was a great album. Bring Back the No, the Bring Back the Bomb isn't on Go to Hell. War is All We Know is on Go to Hell. Eighth Lock is on Go to Hell. Go to Hell from Guar was the last CD that I ever purchased. I stopped at Best Buy on the way home from work because I knew Beyond Hell came out. So I bought Guar Beyond Hell on CD and it was the last CD, like physical format that I ever purchased. I was all MP3s after that. I just went down the, you know, Soul Seek LimeWire rabbit hole and just did nothing but MP3s. Last, uh, Last CD I bought. What a great song, though, too. That's a great album, by the way, Ray. If you haven't got into Beyond Hell, you should do it. Face Meat. Dry oatmeal, you know? It's what it is. It's just dry oatmeal. You can't have face meat without dry oatmeal, and you can't have dry oatmeal without face meat. As far as I understand, that's just the way that it's, it's going to work. It's, it's the way it's always worked, as far as I know. Sexy King Phil fucking gracious of you uh i'm officially an uncle now my brother had a girl a few days ago her name is ember feels weird to be an uncle yeah it's cool phil it's cool it's cool king it's cool being an uncle uh i get to piss off my brother on a on like a weekly basis <laughs> i have a nephew max i'm uncle uh, i'm uncle to to max and uh I make him call me Unky Nick because of that joke from The Simpsons where, uh, you know, Homer has a brother and it turns out it's Danny DeVito's voices, uh, Homer's brother. And he asked the Simpsons kids if they could call him Unky Herb. And uh, I, so I make him call me Unky Nick. And uh, it's great because at Christmas time, you know, 
it's like he's to the age where like cash is king. So I'm just been sending him money, you know? And so I'm talking to my brother and I'm thinking, I'm like, how much is too much money for like a 13 year old, you know, is like 500 too much. And I could like hear my brother rolling his eyes like, yes, 500 is what, please don't give my son $500. And I'm like, well, no, I think I might. I'm a cool uncle, you know? I'm a cool uncle. I'll spoil your kid. I'll give him way too much money on Christmas. <laughs> I'll fill his head with thoughts of Disneyland and money and it's great. You get you you do get to like spoil. <laughs> you do get to spoil them and it's fun and uh it makes my brother mad. So that's fun. I love my brother. Schmurphy. Uh hang on. I'm, he's barking. I'm going to go see what's up. attention that's it he just wants attention he just wants to play he just wants attention that's all it was you know that's all it was <laughs> uh queen honey bunny a slice of pie you're aren't you a slice of pie thank you queen honey bunny i hope your i hope your evening is spectacular the great seamus what i missed your chat earlier but it's okay because maggots maggots I'm going to look and see if I missed it. Uh, I don't know that I did miss it earlier, uh, Seamus, but we'll just say that I did. Thank you. Maggots. They're falling like rain. I can't. Maggots. Da -da 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 maggots. Da -da 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 -da. I have to do the whole part in my head. If I see maggots, I start singing the riff. Maggots. 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 Maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. So good. Uh, Keegan. <laughs> Ke send this super chat to your nephew. <laughs> I will. I totally will. I'm going to, I'm going to send him uh 279 and we'll be like, Hey, this from Keegan, this is from Keegan, mother trucker, spend it wisely. He's really into uh Warhammer, Warhammer 40 K. Isn't that what it's called? Warhammer 40 K, something like that. He's like a, he, he, yeah, he's awesome. He's, he turned into such a nerd and it's great. And he spends like his free time painting, you know, it's like 40 year old virgin. He's just painting these little figures and Warhammer figures and they're like huge things all over the place and little figures, big figures. Um, not the real Gerard Butler. Lee, oh, you're looking for a new uncle? Oh, I'll spoil you. You want me to spoil you for Christmas? You want 300 bucks for Christmas, Lee? <laughs> you want to be my nephew? You can be my nephew, Lee, if you promise to call me Unky Nick. Or Unky Grim. That's the deal. Okay? That's the deal. Andy, it happens a lot, especially in this chat. I just saw it. Maggots. The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. Maggots. Okay, so you want to fight about music? Let's fight about music. Carnivore. Okay, so I just got hip to carnivore. I did not know who Carnivore was. Uh, shout out to Tribal Buddha, the tribalist Buddha. Schmurphy. He just wants attention. Uh, and he might need a walk soon. I was never hip to Carnivore. Never heard him before yesterday. Literally the first time I heard Carnivore was yesterday. So I'm going to disagree with you. That doesn't mean we have to fight. It's just I don't know Carnivore as well. But I'll tell you this. I have the band members of Guar tattooed on me. So I'm going to always side with Guar. You could say anything. You could say, uh, 
this band is better than Guar, and I'll disagree with you every single time. You could tell me my my favorite band is better than Guar, and I'll be like, ah, actually, not really. Actually, not really. Guar is better than my favorite band. So just so you know. <laughs> Unky Grimm. Yeah, sorry. If you want me to be your uncle, you got to call me Unky. That's the... That's the uh, yeah, I just learned that. I actually just learned that. I didn't I didn't I didn't know this. I feel like you and Tribal Buddha are going to be great friends. Uh he introduced me to Carnivore literally just yesterday. We play a game sometimes on my Wednesday Patreon stream. Oh, I have Patreon. You can join it. Uh we play a game sometimes on the Wednesday Patreon stream that is try to get Nick to follow a band on Spotify. So people just throw out names all over the place and I'll listen to some of it, not follow it, not follow it. I generally don't follow it. Uh, and then sometimes I come across a band that I really enjoy and I follow them. Uh, Carnivore, is I heard them for the first time yesterday. So I can't really make a, a judgment. I know, I know, we wouldn't really fight. Of course not. We're adults. It wouldn't come to that. We could have a discussion about music without it coming to throwing fists. You know, no haymakers involved. So I'm not just I'm just not as hip to carnivore as uh, as I am to guar, but you know it's gonna be hard to top guar. How do you top guar? You can't top guar. How do you top guar? How? Answer me. You can't. The maggots are falling like rain. Maggots. Maggots. The maggots are falling like rain. This is the last act of the vlog. We're not going for three hours tonight. We might go for three hours tonight, but it's the, it's the last half of the vlog right now. So what we're going to do is tuck in, get your voting fingers ready, get your shirts off, shirts off, shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit, shirts off in the pit. Okay, sorry about that. Um, here's what we're going to be uh, very random liquid tasting tonight. Let me get a poll in the chat. It seems that the majority of you would rather be really smart than really funny. Uh, and I think I fall into that category too. I think I'd rather be really, really smart than really, really funny. Although, I don't know. It's real satisfying and real re rewarding have you ever made a like a big group of people laugh? You know, like a like a like more than fifteen people laugh. All everybody laughs at your joke. That feels good. That's a good thing. I've been in many uh, uh, Starbucks. You know, back when I was in the uh, at the roasting plant, so many boring ass meetings. So many boring ass meetings where you're just sitting there around a big oval table. You know, talking about like. What's our coffee culture really mean to us? You know, crack a joke in there. You make everybody laugh. You feel like the king of England, man. I might actually like to be really funny. Because funniness will get you a long way. All right. So I'm going to put these in the chat. This is going to be the uh, random liquid tasting poll. Random liquid tasting I don't know that this one's going to do well. I don't know that this one's going to do well. Uh, uh, and then... Okay, okay. Whoops, 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 whoops. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Vote. Okay, everybody vote right now. Please vote right now. If you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote funky. The first one up, it's grappy. You know, this has been up before. I've wanted to taste it. This is an Indonesian liquid from MK Brewers. It's called grappy. Mystic Elixirs Apple Kiwi. This is from Switzerland. Switzerland, bro. And then uh, lastly, we got a UK. This is a uh, big five. 
So Big V, this is the Buffalo White Grape Pineapple. You know what to do. It's time to vote. If you don't vote right now, if you don't vote today, then you don't get to vote. Funky. Pick one. Murphy! Hey! Come here! Sorry, you know, dogs require constant supervision and attention. Buffalo, white grape pineapple, mystic elixir. This is from Switzerland, bro. Apple kiwi or from Indonesia, we got graffy. So we have an Indonesia, a Switzerland, and a UK liquid. I guess earlier when I answered that all of the best e-liquids come from the United States of America, I was just straight up lying. Just straight up lying. The Grimace Shake is one of the worst things that you'll ever consume in your life. It just is. It just is. Oh, big five. Coming in for the win. All right. I'm going to need to uh, get some Nicotine if we're going to go big five town. keychain to open this uh you should get a dog everybody should get a dog uh they're the best things on earth i don't think that humans even deserve dogs <laughs> we've not done enough good things on the planet to deserve the constant love and affection and never judging of a dog they just love you that's it that's all they want to do is be around you love you play eat their own poop you know Hi, 10 out of 10. Would recommend every single time. Every single time. Yeah, I think Big Five's going to win. We'll, we'll let some more people vote, but I'm going to preemptively open. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not until we're done. I'll put the Nick shots up here, too. Just for aesthetics. Just for aesthetics. A lot of big, big V love in the chat. The shake. Let me tell you about the shake, Troy. Yes. It is really bad. It is really bad. Here's the story of the Grimace Shake. Uh, I ordered McDonald's, but I haven't gone into a McDonald's in a really long time. I order McDonald's through, you know, DoorDash or uh, Uber Eats or some sort of delivery service. So I, I, I made an order. It arrived. I opened it up. I went, oh, okay. So everything's wrong. Some of my food was correct. Most of it wasn't. And in, instead of a soft serve with caramel, which is what I wanted, instead of a soft serve with caramel, I got a Grimace shake. I got like a large, supersized Grimace shake. And I went, ah, okay. I mean, that's fine. All I really wanted was something like sweet and ice creamy. So this should be fine. So I put my Grimace shake in the fridge. I go about consuming my Mackers. I go, oh yeah, I got dessert, Grimace Shake. I'm all excited. I'm thinking this is gonna be like a good chocolate milkshake or something. I, 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 I drank like half of it and then I just couldn't drink anymore. It was awful. It was like a chocolate milkshake with gross in it. I can't even explain it. It was like flowers. It was like floral. It tasted like lavender or something in this chocolate shake. It was like potpourri. It was disgusting, like un unconsumable. I drank half of it and went, how could anybody drink this? I'm not going to finish this. How could anybody possibly drink this? It is so foul 
so foul in my mouth. And I was really surprised because, you know, I, you know, I'm generally an okay fan of capitalism. And McDonald's is obviously a huge company, right? Their, their, their labs and their, like, kitchens, you know, they, they go over this and over this and over this and over this. And food doesn't get released from McDonald's until it's been through, like, thousands and thousands of tests. And it's been dialed in and finely tuned with the exact amount of you know sweet and savory and salty and it's perfect and the texture and the crunch and everything is so finely tuned that I was shocked to see this product from McDonald's where it seems like one dude just made it and they went oh that looks good yeah just release it we don't need to taste it just whatever put it out on the market oh turns out it's disgusting like completely disgusting kind of uh, ruined my view of McDonald's a little bit, you know? That's why they exist. These are made of rice. And so if my dog eats one, all he's eating is rice. He seems to really like eating them. I don't eat more than one. You're like, mm. It's like a little snack. All right, big five, big five's winning. Big five's winning, I'm just gonna end the poll right now. So, we're gonna add some nicotine, some of that evil nicotine. I can't, th every time I say the word nicotine, I think of Stanton Glance. I think of Stanton Glance and I think of him sitting there in the You Don't Know Nicotine documentary and and uh, what's his face? Aaron Biber Biebert asks him, you know, what's the worst thing about nicotine? And all he says is, well, the worst thing about nicotine is it's an addictive drug. It alters your brain. Oh, that's it? That's it? Sugar alters your brain. That's it, Stanton Glance? That's like the worst you could think of? What's what's bad about nicotine? Well, it's an addictive drug and it alters your brain. Well, it's an addictive drug. Oh, I'm sorry, Stanton Glance. I couldn't hear you. Don't you have some uh, interns to grope? Someday, I'm going to get to meet Stanton Glance. It's going to be great. All right. We're going to shake. Oh, that's right. Wait, hang on. I'm not following Fresh O3's, Fresh O3's rules of eye contact. Yeah. Shake it up. Shake it. Yeah. F Stanton Glance. He has no credibility. The man's disgraced. He's had studies retracted. He, he was fired for sexual harassment. The man has no credibility, which is a shame. He spent his entire life trying to keep people from smoking. And then when a product existed on the market that kept people from smoking, he went against it and like actually took the side of cigarettes. And that I will never forgive him for that. I'm like, your legacy is fucked. You fucked your own legacy, bro. They'll be, like me, they'll be like me reviewing cigarettes suddenly. Oh, it smells pretty good. This smells pretty good. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a brave, a brave liquid tasting. This is going straight into an RTA. Like I said in the what I've been vaping. The Abita, the fucking Oxva Abita sitting here. I put it on top of uh, this mech mod that I thought it would fit on, but there's a whole shit ton of overhang. I thought for sure it'll hang out on that mech life, the Arkless from Mech Life. I think this is a really underrated mech, but there's freaking overhang on it. I mean, not where it meets. I mean, yeah, even where it meets, there's a little bit of overhang right there. Kind of bums me out. I thought that would look cooler, but eh, you know, what are you gonna do? So we're just going in hard. 
We're, we're committing to this. We're committing to this. You should review cigarettes. I should review cigarettes. Here's the thing, Kent, if you can get me some of those uh, expensive cigarettes from, uh, from China, dude, we'll review some cigarettes, you know? You know what I mean? I know, Murphy. I know, I know. We're almost done. I know, Shmurphy, I can hear you. I know. Murphy! I wonder if he has to pee. Murphy! Oi! Beautiful. Single 18650 or a single battery mech seems to be the trick <laughs> with the Oxva Abida. Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're just going full on, full in. We're gonna fill up this tank. Even if it's bad, even if it's good, you know, this is just that's the joy of a of a grim green stream. I like that there's bubbles in the tank. I find that very satisfying. All right, Oxva Abida. I'm gonna take a uh, tertiary toot, tertiary, that's not what that means. I'm gonna take an inaugural toot off the hand, off the nuck. It was quite tasty. Pineapple, white grape go really, really well together. Oh, there's a little bit of ice in there. All right. Uh, I'm just going to sit with this for one second. I'm going to mute my microphone like this so you can't hear any. That worked out well. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's good. It's good. If you want to know what I think about it, you got to hit the like button. You know, you got to hit that like button. I'm just kidding. I'll tell you about it anyway. Uh, really very good. It's icy, but it's not like Indonesia icy. It's, uh, it's... It's very mildly, mildly icy. There, that's better. It's very mildly icy. It's nice and sweet. 
white grape has an interesting flavor to it and pineapple has an interesting vape flavor to it together it's really good it almost tastes like it's one fruit like if you picked a grape like a white grape and then you ate it and it tasted like pineapple that's what this tastes like it's like a juicy white grape pineapple the white grape i think is giving me and this isn't a this isn't like a negative thing but there's a little bit of like a what do i say how do i say it uh, aloe aloe type of flavor it's like sweet grape sweet white grape pineapple it's very tropical this was like my first toot i thought i would like to take this liquid to mexico like on my mexico vacation this is what i'd like to vape it's got a very beachy tropical hella summer vibe going maybe it's the white grape there's something in there that gives me a little a little aloe like a little organic plant aloe type of flavor it's not negative it doesn't detract it kind of just nestles right in there with the other flavors but it's there and i can taste it every time Buffalo, okay? Buffalo. Delicious. There is, and I'm not trying to put people off. I love white grape. I like pineapple. This is a good flavor. That's period. That's where I'm ending that sentence. This is a good flavor, period. But I do taste like a little bit of like an aloe component. It's like a little bit of like an aloe like succulent type of like not like plants like leaves or something like succulent like aloe is it aloe now it's not quite like an astringency it's just that aloe flavor scent that you can't like i don't know i can't quite pace it place it for the most part i shouldn't have said aloe i shouldn't have said anything it's just what i'm getting from it for the most part it is a white grape pineapple it is bright and citrusy and delicious and icy and tropical and in this Oxva Abita busting. Busting. They get more pineapple than anything else. But there is a, there is like a little aloe aloeness to it. Like jelly like. Mike, jelly-like. Yeah, not like leaves. Not like leaves or shampoo. <laughs> not like le not like leaves or shampoo, but like aloe. It's like white grape pineapple. That's what you get, and it's good, and I like it. I shouldn't have said anything about aloe. It's just something I taste. It's like this weird little undernote of aloe, and maybe that's the tropicalness of the pineapple. You know, playing with my 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 mental memories of like, oh, this makes you think of aloe. This makes you think of the beach. This makes you think of, you know, sunscreen. Busting. I'm just going to call it this flavor. We're two out two for Big Five. Both Big Fives have been awesome so far. Shout out to Big Five, Buffalo, White Grape Pineapple. I'm going to officially say it's busting. Busting. I can't explain it. The only way you can taste, the only way you can experience it is if you taste it. Cactus. That could that that Rick. 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 Cactus. 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 There's cactus or aloe. I want you to taste this, Kent. I'm gonna save this bottle for you. If you're willing to bet money that you don't think it tastes like aloe. Yeah, I completely agree, Dane B. Completely agree. Zero logic. Politicians, sorry, he completely shifted gears on me. <laughs> completely shifted gears. There's zero logic when it comes to politicians commenting on vaping, just like guns. They just don't know what the first thing about it. I'm not even a big gun guy either. Yeah, same. Same.
they just get they just get told things and they just they're they're puppets they just repeat things they just repeat things it's like oh well no we don't have corruption in america because you can't bribe politicians we call that lobbying they just listen to whomever and, and you know and they don't they're not subject matter experts on firearms they're not subject matter experts on vaping they're not subject matter experts on drugs or fentanyl or apparently money or the economy or the way any of that works they just have these knee-jerk reactions that uh affect people's lives it's either cactus or aloe that's what i'm gonna say it's either cactus or aloe We knew that fire alarm was about to go off. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Forget the aloe. Forget I said anything about aloe. In a week from now, nobody will remember aloe. Nobody will remember aloe. They'll just remember, oh, yeah, big five. Oh, oh yeah, white grape pineapple. That's good. It is. It's good. It's just white grape pineapple. It's really good. Forget I said anything about aloe. Um... <coughs> Yeah, we don't have corruption because you can't pay off politicians, but we, we call that lobbying. What? 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 So a pharmaceutical company gets to give Chuck Schumer, you know, just a couple hundred thousand dollars, maybe even just a couple hundred thousand dollars in stock. And then uh, he'll just tow the company line, you know? It's funny when you see the anti-vaping politicians, there's like... It's dwindled down to like four of them now. It used to be a lot more and it's dwindled way down. It's like Durbin, Schumer, Krishnamurthy, and uh, what was that one girl? Uh, I can't remember her name. She really hated vaping, like severely hated vaping. Can't remember. It used to be many politicians and now it's dwindled down to about four that are still very clearly, you know, whatever lobbying money they're getting uh, is is keeping them from saying anything nice about vaping or or, or helping smokers uh, save their own lives. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I agree with you, Dane B. I agree with you. I agree with you. Now, oh shit. That's it. We did it. We got another vlog. How did you get a t-shirt? Murphy, how did you get a t-shirt? Oh, you got two t-shirts. I sometimes keep changes of clothes in my office. It's no big deal. I change my t-shirt. I have some Dixons, some hoodies, some different hats and the such as. He got a hold of some of my t-shirts. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Dude, we did it. We accomplished everything we wanted to. Oh, just at three hours right now. Well, look, we got some clips. We got a new Osiris RTA, which again, I'll be setting that up on Tuesday in the upcoming Tuesday Vape Fiddle over on Twitch. I'll put a link in the description if you want. We got some candy. We built a big, ridiculous, as modest atomizer. We tasted white grape pineapple aloe. We drank a really great beer. We didn't get to talk about music. So that will just get parlayed into next week. I'll, I'll make a little note here. Uh, just kidding. I wrote down, you guys are jerks. I'm just kidding. I didn't write that down either. Um, we didn't get to talk about music. Hey, that's okay. But uh, here's what I'm going to say at this time right now. Here's the thing, Miles. Here's the thing. If, if we're talking about vape, and we're talking about advocacy and we're talking about things like flavor bans and taxes and CASA and uh, politicians talking about vaping. You're going to have to talk about politics. You're going to have to talk about politicians. There's just no way around it. There's no way to uh, discuss the vape space without mentioning Chuck Schumer, without mentioning Dick Durbin, without mentioning Raja Krishnamurthy. They're all very outspoken anti-vape people. And it, like I said, it's dwindled down to four. It's dwindled down to four. But those four are very vocal still. Obviously, Chuck Schumer wants to 
ban vape influencers. Yeah, just ban it. Just ban everything. Why? Why not? Just ban it. Banning things is literally like Stone Age level thinking. Something's bad. Ban it. Yep. That'll keep them away. That'll keep them away. Good call. Good call. Super chats. Good call. Uh, New Wave Dave says, how do you top Guar? With Slayer, of course. Slayer rules. Except for that one album we dare not speak of. Oh, oh, oh. You mean when Slayer released a new metal album? When Slayer sold out in the 90s and tried to get really popular on the mainstream uh, radio and, and released a new metal album? Is that the album that we don't talk about? Because listen, even Guar's worst album, even We Kill Everything, which is terrible by any metric, a bad album. I like it. I still like it, but but I can't listen to the to that Slayer album, New Wave Dave. I can't bring myself to do it. Listen, you want to rain in blood? We'll rain in blood all day. You want to be south of heaven? We'll be south of heaven all day. You want to get into some Slayer new metal territory? Well, well, uh, that's fine. We can just listen. We'll just pretend it doesn't exist. That's easy enough. I've done that. I've just pretend things don't exist. I pretend albums don't exist. We'll just pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> just kidding, new wave, dude. I'm just giving you guff, bro. I love you. Mick Blizzard. Uh, okay. I just went away and listened to Maggots. I think I'll stick with Deep Purple if that's okay with you. That's fine. P.S. I'm a pensioner born in 1955. So Guar is not going to be like, you're not the key demographic for Guar at all in any capacity but thank you for listening to maggots that's one of my favorite songs in the history of music i just love maggots my buddy jim and i way back in the day we did guar haunted houses and we shot our own guar home movies we made guar costumes and uh uh we used the maggots uh music in our movies obviously we went to the store and bought a bunch of pumpkins and then you know kind of filled them with uh goo and like gross stuff and smashed them open like punched them and stabbed them and tore things apart and we're like guar you know we loved it but it's not for everybody sewer rug finally the last super chat from sewer rug yo yo and salutations i didn't miss the whole vlog but someone needs to manage these sewers while y'all boosh about hashtag yo yo tendencies hashtag new uncle hashtag unky grim that's right uh, you know what, microwave oven? I appreciate that. Thank you for calling me out and keeping me honest. I do. I like Blimey off of uh, America Must Be Destroyed better than I like Maggots off of Scum Dogs of the Universe. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for keeping me honest, you know? Thank you for keeping me honest. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for everything. You know, thank you for being here. Uh, being here on a Thursday for the vlog. It's, I just love it. You know, I'm going to say this every single time. I just love it. I love today. I love the vlog. I love going through the segments. I love drinking beer and tasting liquid and chatting with you guys. I like that we just get to hang out and, and be generally awesome. And I like, uh, I like you guys coming here week after week. I feel like I get to hang out with my friends, like literally week after week, after week, after week, after week. It's awesome. It's just awesome. And so I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say, remember that Vaping is an order of magnitude less harmful for you than smoking and inhaling deadly, lethal, combustible tobacco cigarettes. I think vaping is going to change the world. I think flavors are going to help it. And I think we are going to help it as well. Deal? All right. I think that sounds like a deal. Grim Green's here to stay. I appreciate you guys. And uh, keep kicking ass. Keep being awesome. I love you guys. Peace out all the good things, go listen to some Guar, go listen to some Deep Purple, you know, Mick, go listen to some Deep Purple. Um, my new outro is just Dwayne. It's just Dwayne singing to us. I don't have an outro anymore. This is the new one. So we're going to listen to the soothing sounds of Omboy OC, sing us off into the night. I believe I can fly. Hey, 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 love you. I believe I can fly. I believe I could touch the sky any time of year. Dun 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 dun. dun. 
I believe I can fly.